Hello, my name is Rob Brown, the former radio play-by-play -play man for the Continental Basketball Association's Fort Wayne Fury. In episode two of Fort Wayne Fury Flashbacks, we travel back to February 25th of 2000. The place was the Allen County Memorial Coliseum in Fort Wayne, Indiana. The 1999-2000 CBA season was heading into its final month. The Fury were hosting the Quad City Thunder, who entered the game with the league's best 27-14 record. The Fury, meanwhile, were 17-25 and, and had just snapped a nine-game losing streak a few days earlier. Fury's starters were Cal State Bakersfield's Andre McCullum and Appalachian State rookie Marshall Phillips at the guard spots, with former Duke star Antonio Lang, University of Kansas's Darren Hancock, and Clemson rookie Thomas Weidman on the front line. Quad City countered with Louisville's Alvin Sims and Tyson Wheeler from the University of Rhode Island in the backcourt. And on the front line, they started Jamel Thomas out of Providence, Derek Hood from the University of Arkansas, and Maceo Baston from the University of Michigan. Notable reserves in the game were Carl Thomas, Randell Jackson, Joaquin Hawkins, Anthony Parker, and Bakari Hendricks. The Fury were coached by former Indiana University star Keith Smart, and the Thunder were coached by longtime CBA headman Dan Panaggio. Of the 18 players who appeared in this game, 11 played in the NBA. So let's take you back to February 25th of 2000 and CBA action from the Allen County Memorial Coliseum in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Let's go to the arena for the original radio broadcast from that evening. Enjoy. Good evening, everyone, from high atop the Coliseum floor. Rob Brown with you tonight on Fort Wayne Fury Basketball here on 1380 The Game, W-O-N-O, -O, and proud to bring you another Fury Basketball game here tonight. We got some room for you here, though. If you want to stop by and check this one out, should be a good one between the Fury and the Quad City Thunder. Quad City breaking the huddle in the traveling blue uniforms, navy blue with silver numbers and the red trim. For Wayne to the home whites, red numbers and the black trim. Frontline matchups: Fury with Hancock, Lang, and Weidman, six seven six eight six ten. Quad City with Thomas, Hood, and Baston, six 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 eight six nine. Waiting for the house lights to kick back up to full strength here at the Coliseum. We'll be on the road for two. Traveling to Connecticut uh, after the, uh, actually tomorrow. Be at the Armory in Connecticut on Sunday. In Grand Rapids on Tuesday night before we come home to take on Rockford on Wednesday. Lang had the tap on the way up, so we'll jump it again. Lang and Baston. And the tap is won in backcourt by Alvin Sims. So the Thunder will have it first. Heading left to right toward their bench. Sims out top to Hood. Right wing Thomas likes to shoot it quickly. To his left in the lane, roll that no good. Rebound tapped and controlled by Weidman. Almost lost the outlet pass. Hancock went to the floor. He was hit by Jamel Thomas in backcourt. His first, the team's first. Hancock slow to his feet. Looked like he was uh, poked in the left eye. He's all right. Thomas gives him a pat. Thomas just going for the basketball on that play and picked up the foul instead. First Fury possession. McCullum out top to Lang. Back to McCullum on the wing. Tried to lob it into Weidman. Baston overplaying the top. Deflected it out of bounds. It'll stay with the Fury with 12 on the 24. Baston, that very long reach and a very difficult pass when he's fronting and fully extended as McCullum found out there. Hancock inbounding to the foul line in Lang. Tony holds it on his hip, floats it over Hancock's head and out of bounds. So the Fury turn it over on their first possession. Each team coming up empty in their first trip down. Thunder will try and score on trip number two. Wheeler left side to Thomas, out top to Hood. Finds Sims off the screen, bounces in low to Bassett, he fumbled it, got it back. Now to Sims, cut off on the lane, twisting shot up and in off the board. Alvin Sims, great hang time despite uh, his bulky 6'4", 230-pound frame. Don't let his frame fool you. Lang, quick move down the baseline against Hood. Leans in, missed the shot. Baston grabs the Quad City rebound. Here they come three on two. Sims to Thomas, pull up. Nope, jump pass to Hood. Right back to Thomas in the paint. Swipes through the defense, put it up no good, but he drew the foul on the Fury Lee Phillips. With the personal, is first. And the team's first. You know, Jamel Thomas, the rookie out of Providence, one of only a handful of rookies who have earned call-ups 
this year. Larry Kettner, the Fury one. Thomas, another one, earned an early call up back in December to the Celtics. Was leading the CBA in scoring at the time of his call up, averaging just over uh, over 22 points a game. Now at 18 and a half coming in, hits both the free throws there to give the Thunder a 4-0 lead early. McCullum out between the circles, checked by Wheeler. Pounding the high dribble, now finds Lang top of the circle. Tony facing up on Hood with eight to shoot. Looking in low, finds Phillips down the baseline. Marshall in traffic, twisting, finds Wybin under the hoop with a nice feed. And Tom lays it up and in for two. And Wybin got the Fury's first two on Wednesday night. He scores their first two tonight. Sims got free from a nice pick from Hood. Found Baston across the lane, down the baseline. Baston traveled. Well, Sims might have been better advised to go to the basket as he was freed up by a very effective pick from Derek Hood, but nice rotation by the Fury to cut off the baseline and force Sims to pass. Lang looked away, had it poke loose from Hood, but got it back. Now he drives the right side of the lane, put it up, blocked away. Wybin grabbed the rebound from Baston, now tied up. And we're gonna have a jump ball between Wybin and Baston at the Fury foul line with two minutes even gone in this first quarter. Wybin 6'10", Baston 6'9". Kurt Walker in the circle. And Wybin taps it though right to Jamel Thomas. Fell down in front court. Now the ball loose, but it goes right back to Thomas at the timeline. Fury scrambling defensively to get picked up. Thomas threw up a wild shot and missed it. Not sure what he was thinking there. Here comes Hancock, knifing through the paint. Had it poked off his leg. Ooh, so I thought. They say Sims touched it last and the Fury will keep it. Fort Wayne might have gotten a break there. I'm not really sure what Jamel Thomas was doing with that shot. He went up to shoot, thought about passing, then tried to shoot with his back turned to the basket. Hancock off the catch and shoot on the inbound missing, but Wybin grabs the rebound. New clock for the Fury. Darren Iso on the right side against Thomas. Tries to knife through the lane, flips up the left hand shot up and in. And Darren ties the ball game at four. The Thunder scored the first four points of the game. The Fury have answered with four to tie it. Slow pace early, 9.23 left, first quarter. Wheeler, left-hander, working out front against McCullum, tries the paint, swings it right side to Sims, open 19-footer way short, rebound goes off McCullum's hands and out of bounds. Sims threw up an air ball, perhaps caught McCullum off guard, but it did not draw iron. Shot clock at seven, no reset on the air ball. Thomas inbounding, right to Bassett in the block, quickly out to Sims. Only three to shoot, I don't think he knows it. Now Baston tries the baseline, lost the handle, Hancock's got the loose ball. Four on three, Darren down the middle, loping with the dribble. Right side to McCullum, open, 16 footer, up and in. First two for Dre, and the Fury had their first lead of the night. Back comes Thomas, jump pass, ooh, what a lob to Hood, he threw it right, line drive right at the rim, and Hood dunked it down with the right hand. And now we're gonna get uh, a double technical Tom Wybin and Macy O'Baston, who have locked up a couple times after hoops. Kurt Walker's seen enough. So he calls it double technical on Wybin and Baston, so we'll make a note of that. Meanwhile, here comes McCullum loose with the dribble, lost it. Wheeler ahead to Sims. Phyllis won't catch him, and Sims puts it down with a right-hand jam. Six, the Thunder back on top. After a 6-0 Fury run, put them up 6-4. McCullum setting up the pick and roll with Weidman. Jumps up the three behind it. Bang! He got it. McCullum's two for two from the floor. First Fury three of the night. Back comes Wheeler quickly. In the paint, cut off. Hands to Hood, back to Wheeler. He'll set and fire the three. He missed it short on the rim, and Phillips has the board. Wheeler trying to answer there. Perhaps... Uh, Shooting a little too quickly. Phillips losing the dribble, and he'll go out of bounds. And go back to the Thunder. Marshall just a little uh, out of control there. And he goes back to the Thunder. Cameraman down there from one of the local TV stations took a hit. I believe uh, cameraman from Channel 21 took that knock from Phillips, but he's right back to work. 9-8 Fury lead by virtue of McCollum's three. 7.40 to go first quarter. Wheeler, left side to Sims, taking a peek at Hood in the block. Now he gets the pick through the paint. Back out front to Thomas, only three to shoot. Thomas, right side Wheeler, open for three, got it. As the shot clock buzzer sounds, Wheeler misses first three, hitting there for his first points of the night. 
with Jeff McGinnis in route to the NBA down the bench on street clothes. Thunder will call on Wheeler heavily tonight. Lang backs on Hood, and we got an illegal defense whistled against the Thunder. Away from the basketball. First warning of the night. So the ball will go to the Fury at 14 on the 24. Fury would like to remind the fans out there, illegal defense warning doesn't always have to result in a technical. Next time your team gets caught up position, it's old Harold Myers, the legal official. Lang drives, kicks to McCullum, fakes the three, now gets to Weidman. Down the paint with the ball, fake, lost it on the way up. Here come the Thunder again, another strip. Sims to Baston running the paint. Denny Tomahawk's a right hand there. Fury been very loose with the basketball in the paint. The Thunder have got some deflections that have led to easy buckets. And they've used that to springboard to a 13-9 lead. 6.56 left, first quarter, and Key Smart will call a timeout. We'll take a break as well and be back on WO&O 1380, the game. Battery Fury home game this season. Watch for the Farmers Insurance Group Fury Demolition Derby. Two young drivers will do their best to steer clear of the Fury mascot, Sabre. But if they don't, Farmers Insurance Group will have them covered. If you're looking for the most trusted and dependable name in auto insurance, turn to Farmers Insurance Group. Four Fury turnovers early. And the Thunder have uh, used them to capitalize on breakaway baskets as Quad City with an early 13-9 advantage. Wayne shooting four out of seven here to start the ball game, 57%. Quad City, five out of nine for 56%. Fury ball after the timeout. Myron Noodleman in the building tonight, entertaining one of the all-time favorites here in Fort Wayne, as far as entertainers go, here at the Coliseum. McCullum on the way high right, bounces to Hancock at the right angle. Hancock facing up on Thomas, tucks it into the basket. Missed the shot, Thomas got a piece, and he got the rebound. Here they come into front court, five on two. Thomas tried to fire a look away to Baston, he wasn't looking either, and it goes out of bounds. Well, he was wide open too on the baseline, so the Fury get a break there. On the Thunder turnover, their third. 13-9, Quad City lead. McCullum. Turns away from the pick and roll, finds Weidman at the foul line, shot up and in. Thomas came over to contest on the help defense, but he was too late. Tom's got four. And it's a two-point Quad City lead, 13-11. Wheeler behind the screen, leaves it for Hood out top, in low to Baston, quick turn on Weidman, off the board and in. That's a good high-low entry by the Thunder that time as the ball entered from the top of the key by Hood to Baston, who had established good post position. Baston's got four. Phillips in the right corner against Sims. Pokes the basketball, Phillips got it back. Marshall attacking to the goal, fouled on his way up. And he'll shoot two. Boy, Marshall's been going at 150 miles an hour in early going to this ball game. First foul on Phil, uh, Sims, second on the Thunder. They call that foul on the floor. So Phillips will not shoot. And it said it will be Fury ball out of bounds with 14 on the shot clock. Hancock. Finds Lang at the foul line. Tony facing up with 10 to shoot. Floats it right wing to Phillips. Marshall jump pass in low to Weidman. Tom with four to shoot, tucks it in on Baston. Flip shot with the left hand short. Rebound tap to Sims. Here come the Thunder on the run. Sims down the paint. Leaves it for Hood, right side Thomas. Catch and shoot, up and in. Jamel Thomas with four. And the Thunder have their biggest lead of the night, six. 17-11, Phillips down the paint. Runs into Baston, offensive foul called on Marshall Phillips. Marshall trying to force some things early that have been not been there. Second foul on him. Keith Smart making some wholesale substitutions. Carl Thomas on, as is Randell Jackson and the newly bald-headed Oma Gibbons. 17-11, Quad City with a six-point advantage. 5-10 to go first quarter. Wheeler, left of the key, looking for Baston. Baston gets it, back out to Sims, he'll fire up the three, good. Alvin Sims with seven. And the Thunder on a 7-0 run, lead by nine, 20 to 11. Very digging themselves an early hole. 
McCullum spins on Wheeler, got in deep, missed it, but Gibbons is there to tap it up and in for his first points in a Fury uniform. I will pay six minutes. Wednesday night did not score. So first Fury points for Oma. After spending the first part of the season with lacrosse, Thomas right side three is long, and CT's got the Fury board. A hand to Hancock, Darren. Through the paint, cut off, right side, McCullum will try the three. Bang! He got it again! Andre McCullum, his second three of the night, he's got eight. Quad City Bench arguing that McCullum had a foot on the line. And it will stay a three for McCullum, 33 more dollars donated to the YWCA's Domestic Violence Services from Three Rivers Federal Credit Union. Tend to shoot for the Thunder. Thomas drives the left hand on Hancock to the basket. Shot spiked by Gibbons. Baston got the rebound. What's the call, Gary Zielinski? He blew the whistle. They're going to call a loose ball foul on uh, Jamel Thomas. As that Oma Gibbons block was bouncing on the hardwood. Loose ball foul called on Thomas. His second, the team's third. The Fury get it back down four. Inside four minutes to go, first quarter. McCullum setting up pick and roll with Jackson. Spins to the baseline. Wheeler poked it loose. Another deflection. Here they come two on one. Thomas is back. Right side of Sims. Dunk and the foul. Fury too late. And Sims too high up off the floor to be deterred. Fouls on Randell. His first. Fury second. And the deflections really have been the story in this game. Quad City quick hands. Poking the basketball. Then sending a couple players leaking out. And their fast break points have propelled them to the six-point advantage. First Quad City 7 tonight, Anthony Parker, one-time first-round draft pick of the New Jersey Nets. 6-6 six, six out of Bradley coming in, replacing Jamel Thomas in his two fouls. And Alvin Sims, a three-point play. He's got ten points already. And it's a seven-point Thunder lead. McCullum. Gives to CT Curling. In the corner to Hancock. Fakes the three on Parker. Gets him off his feet. Jumper up from 15. In and out. Gibbons tapped the rebound, but hit it right to Baston. Wheeler across the line in front court. Jumps up the three behind the pick. Shaw off the front rim. Jackson with a Fury rebound. Clears to Hancock. Darren loping in front court. Trying to find Gibbons in the block. They lob it right over the top. Oma the catch. Tried to finish. Was fouled by Hood. He'll shoot two. Nice entry lob from Hancock. Hood had the foul to prevent the dunk. First foul on Hood. Fourth on the Thunder. Quad City, only eight players available tonight. Jeff McGinnis expected to sign with the Clippers tomorrow. Gibbons, first free throw up and in. Well, Oma was 0 for 2 from the line Wednesday night. Got his first point on a tip in. Earlier in the period, now his first foul shot to go in a Fury uniform. Gibbons a 70 percenter on the year. Played 25 games with lacrosse before joining the Fury on Wednesday. Second free throw up and short. Hood's got the board. 23-17. Joaquin Hawkins came in for the Fury, replacing McCullum. Hood drew the foul on the Fury in the meantime in low. And it'll go to Gibbons, his first, the team's third. Before Hood shoots these free throws, we'll have a timeout, Quad City. We'll take a break as well. 23-17, they leave the Fury. 2.51 to go, first quarter. Back after this on WONO 1380, the game. Hey, fans, weeknights are Spice Night. Stop by Spice for your sporting goods needs. And when you buy a pair of Spice shoes, you receive a Fury membership card. Good for $1 off admission and 10% off Fury merchandise all season long. You'll also receive two script tickets to a weeknight Fury game. So stop by Spice for your next pair of shoes. And we'll see you at the Coliseum where weeknights are Spice Nights. Both teams shooting a healthy percentage early, but it's been uh, Fury turnovers, the story here. Fort Wayne with six turnovers already. Fury ranking second in the league in most turnovers committed. They turn over 19 and a half times a game. Derek Hood at the foul line for Quad City. Setting the lineups. Fury with Thomas Hancock, Hawkins, Jackson, and Gibbons. Quad City with Wheeler, Sims, Parker, Hood, and Bakari Hendricks, who just stepped in. 
6-7 out of Gonzaga. Hood misses the first. Hendricks had a great game against the uh, Fury the last time these two clubs played. Hendricks had 27 points on 10 of 12, shooting at nine shots in a row before he missed. Hood misses the second free throw. Anthony Parker grabs the rebound. Out to Wheeler for three. Missed it, and Hancock finally secures the possession for the Fury. Well, defensive rebounding on free throws has been an Achilles for the Fury this year. Hancock running the point. Thomas, played by Wheeler, finds Hancock in the block. Reverse layup, up and in and out. That was in the bottom. Gibbons crashing, saved it off of Hood and out of bounds. Boy, Darren got a great look on that reverse layup. It rattled out, but Gibbons with a nice hustle play to keep the possession alive. 21 to shoot for the Fury. New 24, actually 23. Now they're gonna put it at, uh, should be a couple seconds off. As that shot missed by Hancock, it rattled around the floor for a few seconds before it was knocked out of bounds. I'm gonna put it at 22, that's about right. Givens the inbounder, baseline left. Takes a look, floats it out front to Thomas, almost stolen by Wheeler. CT. Looking for Gibbons in the block, gets it to him, left block. Oma makes Hendricks off his feet, sweeping shot with the left hand, no good. Oma got the rebound, put it up and in. Parker blocked the initial effort. Oma's got five here in the period. Giving the Fury a nice lift. Weidman struggled early, got an early foul, and an early tee as well. Parker, through the lane, got it knocked loose. Tough fall away shot, in and out, Gibbons has the rebound. Clears to Hancock, inside two minutes, cross court CT. Finds Jackson running the floor with a nice speed, he lays it in. Well, Randell running the floor, which is what he does well. And CT found him on the feed. Fury within two. Both teams have found the game here in the final two minutes. Hood to Sims cutting the baseline. Hawkins mugged him. Hawk picking up the personal. His first, first in the last two minutes on the Fury. Fort Wayne on a 5-0 run, which has been a quarter of runs and counter runs. 14 to shoot for Quad City. Thunder still have a foul to give at the defensive end. Sims with 10 to shoot, fakes the three. To his left, Hawk up tight, almost a hand check. Now Sims throws cross court to Wheeler, out of bounds. Turnover will give it back to the Fury. The ball in front court or back court? Let's see. It'll be in front court, which means the Fury have to inbound in front court. Unlike college and high school play, you cannot throw a ball inbounded from the front court into the back court. CT got free from Wheeler. Couldn't get the shot away. Instead, he has to Hancock at the elbow. Darren tucks it into the basket, stripped off his leg and out of bounds. Well, Hancock has had some avenues down the uh, paint, but they've closed quickly as he's gotten in deep. And the Thunder is stripping Hancock a couple times early. Darren with just two points thus far in the ball game. Thunder lead is two. Wheeler playing a little cat and mouse behind the screen. Now jumps up the three over Thomas along in the back rim. Hawkins had inside position. Rebound tapped to Hancock. Up to CT. The lob to Randell. He climbs the ladder and finishes for two. Oh, Randell up high. To finish that play, he's got two buckets, both of them running the floor off assist from Thomas. And we're tied at 23. A few players in this league can match the reach of Randell. Maceo Baston, one of them. But he is right now on the Thunder bench. We're on a 7-0 run to tie the game. Inside, 50 seconds to go, first quarter. Wheeler. Out top, played by Thomas. Left side to Sims, fake the three. Now gives over to Parker. He fakes the three on Hancock. Pulling jumper from the foul line. Too strong on the back iron. They soar for the rebound. It's Hancock. Darren up to CT. Cross court to Hawkins. Hawk open. 19 footer. No good on the back iron. Gibbons tapped it up and went up Sims back. We'll pick up the personal. That's two on Oma. And with Fort Wayne over the limit, we'll stroll to the other end. Alvin Sims will be the shooter with 26.9 seconds to go in the first quarter. Free throw shooting, not a strength of either of these clubs. Fury are last in the league in free throw percentage at 68.1. The Thunder seventh at 68.8. Yakima in the middle at 68.3. Those three teams, the only teams in the league that shoot below 70% as a team. Sims hits the first, he's a 65%er, but he's got 11 points 
to lead all scorers so far tonight. One more up and in. Quick start for the 98 CBA Rookie of the Year, Alvin Sims. Remember the Thunder's 98 CBA Championship team. Shot clock two seconds ahead of the game clock. As the first period winds down with the Fury down two. Hancock taking his time on the high left against Parker. Fury clear it out for him. CT trying to post up on Wheeler. Hancock's picked up his dribble, only five to shoot. Hawkins has to make something happen quickly. Back to Hancock, to his left, three to beat the buzzer. No good on the back rim, rebound tapped out. Randell's got it, but the buzzer sounds before he can get a shot away. And the quarter ends with the Fury down two. 25-23 our score, Quad City up two. The Fury will have the ball to start the second period, which is straight ahead in two minutes on WONO 1380, the game. Rob Brown back at the Coliseum, set to start quarter number two, and the Fury down two. 25-23 to the Quad City Thunder. Leading scores for the Fury, Andre McCullum with eight points, including two for two behind the arc. Alvin Sims has 12 points to lead all scores. Fury shot 48% in the period, 10 out of 21, the Thunder 45%, nine of 20. Fury ball to start the quarter. Thomas Hancock. Hawkins, Jackson, and Gibbons, the Fury Five. As CT brings it across the timeline. Wheeler, Thomas, Parker, Hendricks, and the rookie Rico Hill. CT all the way to the goal, missed the scooping shot. Rebounded by Hill. Up to Thomas. Hawkins is back to slow him down at the arc. In the corner to Parker, jumps up the three over Hancock, up and in. Anthony Parker, former Bradley star, hitting the three there for his first points of the night. Third Thunder three of the night. And Quad City up five. Givens, right block over Hendricks. Jumper up and off the board and in. And a couple of former West Coast Conference rivals there. Givens who finished up at Pepperdine. Thomas to the basket, almost swats it off the board. Here come the Fury, four on two. Hawk down the wing, swings it over to CT. Right corner, three, bang! He got it, he tied the game. First points of the night for CT and Quad City will take a timeout, but that started by the shot blocking of Oma Gibbons. Thomas appeared to have an avenue to the goal. Oma batted it off the board. Fury racing to the other end. Got the shot away from CT. And to finish our point, Gibbons and Bakari Hendricks hooked up in college. Oma began his career at UCLA part of that 95 national championship team. Finished at Pepperdine. When he played against Bakari Hendricks who played his college basketball at Gonzaga. CT's three, tying the ball game at 28. CT playing his 158th game in a Fury uniform. Third all time. And now McCullum steals the inbounds, pass and lays it in. 10 for McCullum. The Fury have the lead. Sneaky play by Dre. And now we've got a whistle stopping play from Kurt Walker. He's gonna head to the scorer's table and fix something. Something not to his satisfaction on the clock there. Fury on a 7-0 run to take this two-point advantage. Now Walker will discuss uh, some matters with his partner, Gary Zielinski. Fans full court coverage, the official newsletter of the Fury, sponsored by Physicians Health Plan. Call the Fury office at 471-3879 to find out how to get your copy of full court coverage. Zelensky calling Keith Smart down now. Joaquin Hawkins heading back to the scorer's table. I'm not really sure what that's all about. Cullum came in during that timeout. Ah. That's interesting. 
McCullum checked out. McCullum came in during the 22nd timeout. He can't do that because the Thunder called the 20 and didn't sub a player in. But McCullum scored a bucket while he was in the game. But uh, the points are still on the scoreboard. Hill, right corner for three. Missed it over Jackson, and it's rebounded by Gibbons. So Hawkins will stay in the game, but I'm surprised they kept the points on the scoreboard as McCullum, who uh, essentially checked in the game illegally, scored that last Fury bucket. Hancock drives the baseline against Parker, bumped and fouled as he made his pass to Jackson. Quad City arguing the Fury had an illegal offense. Three players above the hash on the weak side. Fouls on Anthony Parker. His first, the team's first. Hancock foul on the pass. Darren calls for it and gets it in the block against Parker. Backing with eight to shoot. Tucks it in, turned the corner, and he's fouled again. Parker with a tripping foul. Team second should be his second as well. Foul call on the floor, so Hancock will not shoot. McCullum right back into Hancock against Parker. Darren tucks it in, spins back to the baseline, gets Parker off his feet, left hand shot short, got his own rebound, put it up and in, a foul counted. Hancock with a bucket, Parker's got three fouls. Hancock just worked him, three straight possessions. Got the rebound bucket off his own miss. Third foul on the Thunder, third on Parker. And when you're only working with eight players, as Dan Panaggio is on that Quad City side, getting a player to pick up three quick fouls in the first half. Parker picked up three fouls in 16 seconds in that sequence. That's amazing. Baston came on to replace him. Hancock shooting the free throw up and in. Boy, kicked high off the back iron and fell through. Three-point play by Hancock, the 10-0 Fury run, 33-28. Wheeler, out front played by McCullum. Finding Hill, who's played by Thomas with the big Quad City lineup. Hendricks, his jumper over Gibbons is short. Rebound tapped right to Hill, blocked away by Jackson. Loose ball on the floor, squirting out of bounds, gathered by Hancock. Darren finds Gibbons as the outlet. Now hands to McCullum. Keith Smart says to push. Andre through the lane, lost it. On the floor, picked up by Hendricks. Another Quad City deflection. Here comes Thomas, the pull up three short. Rebound Karams off of Hancock's hand though and out of bounds. Stay with the Thunder with a new 24. Quad City subbing again. Wheeler will get his first break. Sims comes on. So with McGinnis in street close tonight, in route to the LA Clippers tomorrow. It'll be interesting to see with Wheeler on the bench who will play the point guard for this ball club. We expect it to be Sims. Hawkins on for Hancock, and Sims will handle it at least this trip down. Right side to Thomas, CT up tight on him. Out top to Hendricks. Takes the jumper top of the key, nice lob in low to Baston. Circled in low by Jackson and fouled. Jack Baston forced underneath the backboard on that Jackson foul. Second on Randell, first on the Fury. Baston at the line, shooting two, trying to snap the Fury's 10-0 run, which has vaulted the Fury to a five-point lead. First one up, and good over the front rim. ACO Baston has had some big games against the Fury, averaging 15 points a game, shooting 70% from the floor over his last five contests. Really emerging as a solid frontline player after some up and down moments last year as a rookie. Baston converts both to snap the Fury run and bring the Thunder back within three. McCullum, high left to Givens, hands right back to Dre. Stop and go move against Sims down the baseline, feels the contact, flips it up and in. 12 for McCullum. And it's back to a five point Fury advantage. Sims out top, manning the point with Wheeler on the bench. Over to Jamel Thomas, now Sims will post McCullum. And McCullum flopped and drew the charging foul on Sims. Andre took the hit. Fell like a fish in the market, and Sims picks up the personal, his second. Sims reaches and fouls, that's three. That's a risky play by Sims. Knowing that the Thunder bench is short, and you've already got Anthony Parker on the bench with three, 
Now Sims will head to the bench with three. So the situation really getting difficult for Dan Panaggio down there with only eight players available and two of his three reserves seated on the bench currently have three fouls and are presumably done for the half. Wheeler's back in for Sims. Thomas isoed against Jamel Thomas. McCullum wants to post Wheeler. Gets it in the block. Hanging shot. No good, but Wheeler whacked him on the elbow. And McCullum will shoot two. First foul on Wheeler, fourth on the Thunder. McCullum at the line. He's nine for nine from the foul line. This is his third game with the ball club since coming over from Fargo of the IBA. Dre taking his time with 8-10 to go in the first half. First one up and in. Now McCullum was in the top 10 in the league in free throw percentage in the IBA. Shot around 84%. Third in the league in scoring and third in assists as well. Led Fargo to the fourth best record in the regular season in the nine-team league. Second free throw swishing. McCullum's got 14 to lead all scorers. 37-30. on that 14-2 run after the Thunder got a three-pointer from Anthony Parker to open the quarter scoring. Thomas lobs into Baston, right block against Jackson. Baston slithering through with a fingertip up and in. Baston using that long reach. So effective in the paint. He's got six, make it eight. That's 37-32. Jackson facing up on Baston. Down the middle, tries the shot in low, missed it, but Hendricks got a piece and fouled him. They're gonna get the foul to Baston. Instead, Hendricks also on the play, but Baston picking up the foul, his first, the team's sixth. Here we have just one team foul in Quad City at the limit. A lot of time left, 7.34 to go in the first half. So if you're an opportunity, with the bonus situation the rest of the way to Get some easy points on the board, but you have to get to the line and then convert. And Randell misses the first. 85% on the year as Jackson. Came in 28 of 33. One more for Randell. Up and off the mark as well. Gibbons ripping at the rebound with Hendricks. Tied up. We're going to have a jump ball. Boy, Oma has been very active in his stint tonight. You expect some tentative feeling out process. And the tap is won by Hendricks. Up to Thomas, and Carl Thomas has to hand check him to stop the avenue to the goal. First foul on Carl Thomas, second on the Fury. Jamel Thomas inbounding for the Thunder. Five-point Fury lead. They've outscored the Thunder 14-7 here in the first four and a half minutes of the period. Baston fakes the hand off to the basket, runs over Randell, flips it to Hendricks. He flips it up and in. No call in low. Hendricks for two. His first two of the night. McCullum backing down Wheeler. In low, turning, shooting, blocked away by Baston. And rebounded by Hendricks. His pass stolen by McCullum. Oh, and he crashes into the seats. But as he made the save, he stepped on the sideline. And it stays with the Thunder. Nice hustle by Dre, though. To break that play up. Quad City ball after the nice block shot by Baston, who's second in the league in swats at 2.4 a game. Inside seven minutes to go, first half. Wheeler out front to Hendricks. And the whistle blown against the Fury legal defense. The call. First warning of the night on the Fury. So warning in the books for each club. Timeout Fort Wayne. We'll take a break as well. 6.50 to go first half. Fury lead is three. Back with more on WO&O 1380. Take game. Rob Brown back at the Coliseum. It's tanning season again. And boy, with that 70 degree weather outside, why not get your tan outside? But when the weather turns cold again, as we know it will before it warms up for good, the Mirage can meet your total tanning needs. Mirage conveniently located on Coliseum next to Carlos O'Kelly's and in Covington behind Ace Hardware with a third location opening soon in the Northbrook Village Center in DuPont. At the Mirage, there are no appointments. State-of-the-art equipment and quick, courteous service. 
Rush, the Teen Choice, the Fury Dancers. You mentioned this ad, you receive a 10% discount off any regular package. 37-34, our score. Fury up three. Fort Wayne shooting 63% here in the period. Five out of eight, the Thunder 43%, three out of seven. Thunder ball after the Fury illegal defense violation. Fourteen to shoot for the Thunder. Each team has a warning in the books. Thunder inbounding at half court. They elect to, uh, they want to take it on the near sideline instead of the far sideline. So they'll get their wish. As Thomas slips it out front to Wheeler. Bounces to Baston, right back to Wheeler on the handoff. Wheeler has the Baston pick, turns the corner, nice bass, bounce to Baston on the roll off and he elevates and punches. Oh, goodness. Baston fully extended on that one, he's got 10. That's 37-36. Thunder on a 6-0 run to pull back within one. Right wing Jackson, stop and go move against Baston, runs him over and dunks it down. Oh, goodness. Quad City wanting to charge there and they no-call it. Six for Randell. Baston cutting takes the feed from Hendricks. Oma bumped him in the back. And that's the third foul on Oma. Tom Whiteman coming on for Oma who checks out with seven points and a nice stint. Three fouls though for Gimmons. Whiteman's back in for him and Hancock back in for Hawkins. Baston gives to Wheeler on the handoff. Wheeler to his left with the pick. Out to Thomas behind the arc. Stop and go through the paint. Finds Hendricks underneath and he flips it up and in. Nice interior passing by the Thunder. They found Hendricks and Baston alternating in low for some easy buckets. Quad City hanging around if the Fury opened up a seven point lead. One point Fury advantage currently. Hancock spins on Rico Hill off the board. Baston got it on the way down, count it and give Hancock's points number six and seven. 41-38, our score, 5.44 to go first half. And you can count on one hand, actually you can count on two fingers the number of times the Fury have had a halftime lead this month of February. Baston quick spin down the baseline on Weidman, Tom Fowling to stop the dunk. As Baston was set to put somebody on a poster, First foul on Weidman, third on the fourth on the Fury. Baston at the line for two. He's got six points here in the quarter and 10 in the ball game. First free throw up and in. One more for Maceo Baston. Michigan product. It's the second as well, native of Texas, 41-40. Fury lead is one. CT back out front to Hancock. Darren played by Rico Hill. They want to clear it out for him. Darren with eight to shoot, still with it. Now to McCullum on the right wing. Dre through the traffic, lost it on the way up. They're going to call a foul on Wheeler. And with Quad City over the limit, that'll put McCullum at the line. Actually give the foul to Rico Hill. Either way, Quad City over the limit. And McCullum at the line for two. 5-11 left, first half. McCullum is 11 of 11 in his young Fury career. And he hits the first. Played at Cal Bakersfield, Division II school. Led the team to the uh, Division II Elite Eight where they lost in the round of eight. Then the year after he left, they won the national championship in Division II. Ray hits them both. 43-40, McCullum's got 16. Wheeler out front, played by McCullum. 16 to shoot, looking for Thomas off the pick. Fakes the shot left wing, down the baseline, attacking. Shovel look away pass to Baston, flipped it up. Couldn't get the roll, but he'll shoot two. As Randell picks up the foul, his third, the Fury's fifth. Well, the Thunder wing players driving to the hole but not going all the way, finding uh, post players in low for easy opportunities, but Baston misses the first free throw. 
He was four for four before that miss. One more for Baston, up and in. He's got 13 to pace the Thunder. Nine points here in the quarter. 43-41. Hancock drives on Hill, swings cross court to McCullum. Dre looking in low for Weidman. Tom working right block against Hendricks. Takes him off his feet, leaner off the board and in. Six for Tom Weidman. Four point fury advantage. Hendricks hoists up the left side three. Caroms to the left corner. Tracked down though by Thomas. New clock for the Thunder. Thomas crosses up Jackson, pull in shot, no good on the back iron. Rebound pulled in by McCullum. Andre wants to run up the left wing CT. Go across the lane to Jackson, pass deflected by Wheeler, picked in by Baston. Two on two. Thomas finds Baston running the floor, finger roll up and in. Boy, Maceo Baston getting out and running and rewarded with some easy hoops in transition. He's got 15. Four minutes to go, first half, Fury up two. Thomas lobs over the top to Randell, takes the defenders off their feet and puts it up and in. Randell's got eight. Pretty productive offense for Randell off the bench. Antonio Lang checking in. Uh, we've not seen Tony so far tonight. He's kind of gotten lost in the mix. Thomas drives on Carl Thomas. Look away pass to Bassin down the baseline. Missed it. Wiping got a piece out to Thomas. Jump pass and load to Bassin. He'll try it again and lay it in. Boy, the Quad City wing players are having their way entering the ball in low to Bassin and Hendricks. And Bassin with 17. Leads all scores. Hancock. Taking his time on the high left. Swings up front to Randell. Drives on Bassin. Kicks to Thomas in the corner. CT right side for three short. Rebounded by Wyman in the paint. Wheeler grabbed his arm to take it away and will pick up the personal. That's two on Wheeler. And Wyman at the line. Bassin uh, running out some steam perhaps. We'll check out. But uh, some great work by Bassin at both ends. Both running the floor and blocking shots. He'll get a breather as replaced by Hood. Weidman shooting two for the Fury. Antonio Lang and Phillips back in for Fort Wayne. CT and Randell checking out. Randell departs with eight points. Tom Weidman at the line, first one up and in. Seven for T. Tom. And it's 48-45. Three point Fury lead. Weidman got the roll in the second. Tom just a 52 percenter coming in. Hits them both, 49-45 our score. Inside, three minutes to go, first half. Wheeler out front. Check at the arc by McCullum in the corner. Thomas to catch and shoot left side, too strong. Hood pushed off to get the board and they caught him. That's two on Hood. A foul situation starting to mount for the Thunder. Fury have Jackson and Givens on the bench with three, but Quad City only eight players available tonight. Sims and Parker on the bench with three. Wheeler, Thomas, and Hood with two apiece. And before the Fury shoot these free throws, we have a timeout, Quad City. 2.55 left, first half. We'll take a break and be back on WONO 1380, the game. Mark, uh, actually, the Coliseum taking on the Quad City Thunder tonight. Kids, you can shoot hoops on the same court as your Fort Wayne Fury through the Wendy's Kid Court Nights. Just stop by your local Wendy's and receive a coupon good for a free kids admission to a Fury game when accompanied by a painted adult. Hang on to your Wendy's coupon because after the game, it's your ticket onto the Wendy's Kids Court. Well, the Fury shooting 69% here in the period, 9 and a 13. But the Thunder staying in this ball game due to some easy hoops in the paint and some unselfish play. The Thunder have 16 field goals in this game, and 14 of them have an assist attached. So 14 assists for the Thunder on 16 field goals. That's an incredible ratio. But the Fury lead by four. Looking to add to it. Antonio Lang foul on a rebound attempt at the other end, so he'll shoot two. Tony connects on the first for his first free throw of the night. First point of the night as well. 2.55 to go. Waiting for some perspiration to be wiped up underneath the hoop. Now Lang will tee up the second. Tony a 69% foul shooter on the season. That one's in and out. Whiteman snuck in and got the rebound in the corner. 
New clock for the Fury. Tom swings cross court to Hancock. Darren, played by Enrico Hill, they clear it out for him. Tries to stop and go, now he attacks the middle, jump over the right hand, too strong. Hancock went up the back of Hill to try and get the offensive rebound, and he committed the foul. Both teams over the limit. So the Thunder will now shoot two with 2.39 left. 50-45 our score. Five point Fury advantage. Rico Hill shooting two. Well, the Fury are two and nine here in the month of February, and they've led at halftime just twice this month. They lead by four right now, make it three as Hill hits both the free throws. 50-47. The count with two and a half to go, first half. McCullum looking for Hancock off the screen, bounces down to him in the right block. Darren backing against Rico Hill. Spinning, fakes him off his feet, scoop shot with the left hand, too strong, and Hill has the rebound. Boy, Darren's got some great looks, just has not gotten the roll in deep. Hendricks, the catch and shoot right wing, rolls off the rim. Hood, but Thomas had the rebound in traffic. Hancock ripped it away and then drew the foul in backcourt on Rico Hill. That's two on Hill. And Darren will shoot two. Pure tried to put uh, Hancock in some mismatch situations, being either guarded by the smaller man Wheeler or the larger man Hill. And Darren's been able to get in the paint, but a lot of his short shots have rolled off the rim. So he has just seven points to his credit. And if you looked at his shot chart, you would think he'd have a lot more. First free throw up and good for Darren. Hancock stepping in, replacing McCullum. Andre checking out with a team high 16 points. 2.07 left first half. Darren measures the second up and in. 52-47. Hawkins will harass Wheeler out front. Wheeler pounding that dribble. The only true point guard on the Quad City roster. Leaves it for Hendricks, right elbow jumper over Wybins up and in. Six points for Bakari Hendricks, all here in the period. 52-49. 1.45 to go first half. Weidman setting up a pick for Hancock if he chooses to use it. Darren now working solo against Hill, couldn't find the space. Lobs to Weidman mid block, fakes on Hendricks, sweeping to the basket, flip shot up and in with the right hand. Wyman's got 10. And it's 54-49. Thomas drives on Hancock, lost it. Here comes Hawk, three on two. Leaves it for Lang to the goal. Tony extends and misses the dunk. It goes out of bounds, back to the Thunder. Oh, goodness. Lang had the dunk. He had the 5'10 wheeler back to contest it. And he just missed it off the back iron. It carried him down the bounds to the right corner. The Fury lead holds at five. One minute to go first half. Hill on the left wing against Hancock. Dribbles to the middle. Back to Wheeler on the wing with only eight to shoot. Wheeler behind the arc wants a pick. Has to drive, fakes, leans, scoops. Weidman blocked the shot. Hawkins has the rebound. And before the Fury can break out, they blow the whistle. Shot clock violation. We'll give it back to Fort Wayne with 47 and 6 tenths remaining. McCullum tried to get to the scorer's table and didn't make it in time. Hancock will handle it. Inside 40 seconds. Darren ISO left wing against Hill. Picked up his dribble, gives to Hawkins, cutting on Wheeler. Put it up and in off the board. Hawks swooping to the goal for two. Back to a seven point Fury lead, matching their biggest of the night. Shot clock, eight seconds ahead of the game clock. Wheeler out between the circles, played by Hawkins. Both teams over the foul limit. Hawkins finds Hood in the corner to Hill. Pass goes off his foot and, out of, and right to Hawkins. Up the wing, finds Lang. This time he'll finish the right hand flush. Still time for the Thunder. 
Ten seconds to go in the half. Nine point Fury lead, 58-49. Thomas working against Phillips. Gets a pick, 18 footer out front, rolls off the rim, wiping rebounds, and that'll do it. Fury closed the quarter on a 6-0 run. They lead by nine. 58-49 is the 12th game of the month, just the third time this month. The Fury have had a lead at halftime. We'll see what they do with it. Halftime show up next on WO&O 1380, the game. Rob Brown back at the Coliseum on this Peace Halftime Show. Fury lead here at halftime, 58-49. This is the 12th game of the month of February. Fury come in just 2-9 and nine here in the month. And this is the only the third halftime lead all month for Fort Wayne. We look at how the game transpired. A back and forth first quarter that featured four lead changes and three ties. Fury only led by two. That was at 6-4. The Thunder led by as much as nine, 22-11. Two Alvin Sims free throws closed out the first quarter scoring. The Thunder led 25-23 at the end of one. Fury, though, went on a 10-0 run after Anthony Parker hit a three to open the quarter scoring for Quad City. Fury went on a 10-0 run to grab a five-point lead. They extended to seven points. And the Fury leading by as much as nine. They led the entire rest of the way. And their nine-point lead here at the half, their biggest lead in the half. Fury outscoring the Thunder 35-24 in the second. Also the Fury's highest second quarter output of the season, the 35 points, passing the 34 points that was their previous second quarter season high. We mentioned only the third time all year, the Fury, uh, all month, the Fury had led at the half. They led at halftime in their win on, in Grand Rapids on February 1st, and then they led at half last week. They led the Connecticut Pride at the half before the Pride came back to beat the Fury in overtime. Again, 58-49, our halftime score. Andre McCullum has 16 points to lead the Fury on 5 of 7 shooting and 2 for 2 behind the arc. Quad City led by Maceo Bass, and he has 17 points in 16 minutes on 6 of 7 shooting. We'll go ahead and take our first break here in this piece halftime show. When we come back, we'll have more from the Coliseum after this on WONO with 1380, the game. Rob Brown back at the Coliseum on the Spies Halftime Show. Fury lead the Quad City Thunder here at the break, 58-49. Lots of groups here tonight. We'd like to welcome them all. Nathan Miller's 18th birthday party, New Haven United Methodist Youth Group, Haber Hill Elementary, ITT Aerospace, Perfection Bakeries, Nebraska Elementary, Wendy's, Bob Evans Restaurants, Raytheon, Perry Hill School, the employees, patients, and friends of Dr. Steve Hogberg, City Beverage, and Aetna. Scout packs, a bunch of them here tonight. Scout pack 34, 26, 120, 30, 54, 30, 89, and 2081. And also like to welcome the uh, in excess of 25 church groups here tonight. Uh, tonight, church night. Uh, Keith Smart will be speaking after the ball game. Craft Kids tonight, seated in section 30 here each and every night, courtesy of the folks at Craft Foods. Tonight they're here from St. John's Lutheran School. And our Dodge Bleacher Creatures here each and every night from the New Haven Middle School. Actually, not here each and every night from the New Haven Middle School. They're here each and every night, courtesy of the local Dodge dealers. But tonight they're here from New Haven Middle School. And again, uh, I'd like to extend a special welcome to all the church groups here tonight. In excess of 25 church groups on tonight, the second of two church nights this season for the Fury. We'll go ahead and take another break. And when we come back, we'll have a look at tonight's halftime numbers on WONO 1380, the game. Time now for tonight's halftime update. As always, brought to you by the O'Daniel Automotive Group. It's where you go for an update on a great deal. It's O'Daniel, the five locations to serve you. At O'Daniel, they discount, they deal, and they deliver. Well, for the Fury, they were led by Andre McCullum, 16 first half points on five of seven shooting. Tom Wyman had 10 points on four of five shooting. Nine points for Darren Hancock, eight points for Randall Jackson, seven for Oma Gibbons, three points apiece for Carl Thomas and Tony Lang, two points for Joaquin Hawkins, and Marshall Phillips scoreless in his 11 minutes of work. For the Thunder, Maceo Baston had 17 points on six of seven shooting. Alvin Sims, 12 points on four of five shooting, but Sims got in foul trouble, only played two minutes in the second quarter. Six points for Bakari Hendricks, four points for Jamel Thomas, who was just one for nine in that first half. Three points apiece for Tyson Wheeler and Anthony Parker, two points for Derrick Hood and Rico Hill. Fury shot 55% in the first half, 22 of 40. 
Fort Wayne shooting 63%, 12 out of 19 in the second quarter. Quad City shot 44% in the first half, 17 of 39. Fort Wayne 3 of 5 from the arc for 60%. McCullum 2 for 2 and Thomas hitting as well. Quad City 30%, 3 out of 10. Sims, Wheeler, and Parker each hitting. Fury 73% from the foul line in the first half. 11 out of 15. Quad City 80%, 12 out of 15. Rebounding 23-16 in favor of the Fury. Fury had nine first half turnovers. The Thunder with 11. Fury did a better job in the second quarter. Had just four second quarter turnovers. The Thunder had seven in the, uh, actually Fury had two second quarter turnovers. And the Thunder was seven. Points to the paint, 32-24 in favor of the Fury. And that 35-point total for the Fury in the second quarter, not only their best second quarter scoring effort of the season, but their best overall quarter scoring effort of the season. So Fort Wayne leads 58-49 against the top team of the CBA, the Quad City Thunder, who bring a five-game winning streak into tonight's game. But a lot of basketball left. We'll see what transpires after this on WNO with 1380, the game. Well, Facts Today is a fun-filled daily publication. It's free and filled with money-saving coupons. Also win free lunches and free Fury tickets every day by sending Facts Today your jokes, quotes, and Fury trivia answers via fax to Facts Today. All they need is your fax number, and your free Facts Today will start arriving at your office daily. Facts Today, call them at 749-7999 or fax them at 749-7998. Well, tonight, uh, wrapping up a two-home game week for the Fury. Fort Wayne snapping a nine-game losing streak in here on Wednesday night. We'll be back on the road tomorrow, traveling to Connecticut. And the Fury take on the Connecticut Pride Sunday night at the Armory in Hartford. We'll have the broadcast beginning at 6.40 with our, actually 5.40 with our pregame show, a Sunday night game, 6 o'clock tip. So we'll have the pregame show beginning at 5.40, tip off set for 6.05. We'll have the broadcast here on WONO 1380, the game. Then the uh, brief road trip wrapping up Tuesday night in Grand Rapids. As the Fury take on the hoops. Fury take on the hoops at 7.05. <laughs> Free game show beginning at 6.40. That's Tuesday night. And then Fort Wayne back here at home on Wednesday night as they play the surging Rockford Lightning led by Rick Mahorn. Our first look at the Lightning since Mahorn took over as head coach in mid-February. Curry ball to start the second half, heading left to right away from their bench. Keith Smart gathering his club for a final round of instructions. We see the original Thunder Five out there. Wheeler, Sims, Jamel Thomas, Hood, and Baston. Quad City, uh, actually I should say the Fury out there with their original five as well. McCullum, Phillips, Hancock, Wyman, and Lang. Tony very quiet in his stint in that first half. McCullum. Working at the top against Wheeler. See what adjustments the Thunder made at halftime. On the wing to Weidman. Tom backing against Baston. Spins, fakes him off his feet. Leaves for Phillips, three seconds. Well, the minute that Weidman didn't get that shot off, that play was dead in the water. That was a three second violation. And the Fury's 10th turnover of the night, but just their third since the first quarter. Gives it back to the Thunder. Baston in low. Fakes the handoff to Wheeler, spinning through the paint. Foul on his way through the lane by Hancock. He'll shoot it twice. Phillips blocked the shot. Second foul on Darren. Baston five and a six from the line. Will step to it for the Thunder. Trying to put them on the board first here in the half. Good crowd tonight here at the Coliseum. One of the better crowds of the season. On a church night, Baston hits the first. Six out of eight is Baston. Second round draft pick of the Chicago Bulls last year. Second one up, cleanly through the net. 19 points for Baston. He leads all scores. And the Thunder draw first blood here in the second half. 58-51 our score. Phillips cross court to Lang. Picks up his dribble. Down to Weidman. Gets by the defense, put it up and in, but they say he traveled. The long arms of Baston forced Weidman to 
take an extra step. He maybe didn't want to. Sims drives on Hancock. Wipers box the shot away. Here comes McCullum. Weaving through the traffic. Left wing Phillips open. 16 footer good. First two of the night for Marshall. First two of the night for Phillips. And the first two for the Fury here in the half. Weidman's got three block shots already. Tying his season high. And a little Baston against Weidman. Baston stripped on his way up. Weidman's got the loose ball. Here comes Hancock. Finds Lang running the floor. Nice catch. He fumbled it. Able to save it though. Back out to Darren. New clock. Left wing Phillips. Marshall jumps up the 16-footer. Missed it short off the front rim. Rebounded by Hood. Here comes Wheeler. In the corner, Thomas fakes the three. Now he lost it on the way up. Got it back. Leans on Phillips. Missed the short shot and drew the foul. Well, I guess they say that Phillips stripped that on the way up. That's the only way that uh, Thomas could pick up that basketball legally. Third foul on Marshall. And the second already on the Fury here in the period. Jamel Thomas shooting two. He is an 81 percenter on the season. First one's up and in. Second one good as well. So the Thunder have outscored the Fury 4-2 here in the early stages of this second half. Fury still lead by seven. McCullum bounces to Wyman, left corner. Tom down the baseline, works on Baston, missed the reverse layup. McCullum and Baston fight for the rebound. They're tied up, we'll have a jump ball. Pretty nimble move by Wyman to uh, tiptoe the baseline, but short arm the reverse. And McCullum, a nice job to fight in there and tie up Baston. Although an uphill uh, jump ball for Andre as he stands 6-2, Baston 6-9. Very jockeying for position. Marshall Phillips playing a little free safety there. Baston missed the tip. McCullum just ran, uh, didn't even try and tip it. He just ran to Tyson Wheeler. I'm not sure that's legal. I think you have to at least make an effort on the tip if you're in that circle. Jump ball taking place at the Fury foul line. Kurt Walker trying to get everyone stationed to his satisfaction before we continue. And Baston tips to Hood. To Baston running the paint. Missed the dunk. Jamel Thomas there. He's stripped on the way up and he's fouled. I don't know how Baston didn't get a foul call there going to the basket initially. That foul going to Marshall Phillips, his fourth. Team's third. Actually, they'll change that. Give the foul to uh, Antonio Lang instead. Either way, it's the team's third, but Tony's first instead of Phillips fourth. Jamel Thomas shooting two more. He's two for two here in the quarter and four for four in the ball game. First one up and in. 60-54, six point Fury lead. Thomas rims out the second and Lang secures the rebound. McCullum tries to drive on Wheeler, cut off. Backs out the dribble left wing. Looking for Lang in the block against the rookie hood. Tony had it knocked loose, got it back in the left corner, glanced at the shot clock, seven to shoot. Facing up, jumps up the 18 footer short. Rebound took a high carom. Baston lost it out of bounds, but they're going to get Wyman on a loose ball foul. That's two on Tom and four already on the Fury. Fury quickly uh, in route to putting the Thunder in the penalty very early in this quarter. And the Thunder simultaneously creeping back into the ball game. Sims drives on Hancock. Flipped up the shot short. Baston pokes for the rebound, but Wyman comes away with the loose ball. Plays for McCullum. Andre on the run into front court. Fury manages to field goal in the first three minutes of this period. McCullum runs into Wheeler, and they're going to get him for an offensive foul. First foul on Dre. Fury uh, walking back. Here come the Thunder, trying to attack quickly. Thomas to his left down the baseline, missed it long. Hancock with the rebound. Darren into front court. Blows by Wheeler to the basket, flipped it up and in, had to double clutch it as Thomas was waiting to block the shot. Tough 
up shot by Hancock. He's got 11. Eight point Fury lead. 62 54. Eight and a half to go. Third quarter. Nice bounce to Hood. Up and in from Wheeler. Hood slipped on the pick and roll, and Wheeler delivered the perfect bounce pass. Hood's got four. 62 56. Right side, McCullum. In deep to Lang, who got deep position on Hood. And Lang draws the foul on Hood. That's the third on him, first on the Thunder. Foul on the floor. So the Fury will inbound with 14 on the shot clock. Hancock on the trigger. Gets into Lang. Tony waits for the traffic to clear. Now attacks on Hood to the basket. Runs into Bassett. Offensive foul. Second foul on Lang. Second offensive foul here on the period on the Fury. Here come the Thunder trying to attack quickly. You cannot mope and walk back on defense against this club. Sims thought about the baseline against Hancock. Now he drives the left hand through the paint. Try to bounce it across the lane to Bast and it goes off a of Fury foot and out of bounds. And will stay with the Thunder with 12 on the 24. Thomas the inbounder. Pass deflected out by Wyvin. They'll try it again. Phillips guarding the basket as well as the inbound passer. They float it left corner to Baston. Hands back to Thomas. Drives in the paint, fading away. Try to jump pass and low to Baston. Able to get it. Now they go around the horn. Wheeler, the three to beat the shot clock. No good. Rebound saved by Wyvin to Hancock. Darren up the floor to McCullum. Quad City back defensively. Now out front to Hancock, spinning through the traffic, finger roll short, but he drew the foul as he spun through the paint. Foul on Baston, his second, team second. That'll put Hancock at the line shooting two, and where he is three out of three. They're in a 67%er on the year. These are the first two Fury free throw attempts of the half. First one up and in. Fort Wayne shot 11 of 15 from the line in the first half. Anthony Parker and Rico Hill, first, second half subs for Quad City. Sims and Thomas check out. So Thunder lineup, Wheeler, Parker, Hood, Hill, and Baston. One more free throw for Darren Hancock. in as well. 13 for Darren. He's 5 for 5 for the stripe. 64-56. Seven and a half minutes to go third quarter. Hill posting left corner on Hancock. Backs him in. Fade away shot. High Archer up and in. Tough shot by Rico Hill. One time second round pick. She was a second round pick this year of the LA Clippers. 64-58. Hancock played out front by Hill. Darren racing to the goal. Left hand scoop shot blocked away by Baston. Here come the Thunder two on two. McCullum tried to stop Wheeler and couldn't as Wheeler got to the rim and scored. Quad City will call a time, or the Fury will call a timeout rather. It's a 20, so we'll stay here. 20 second timeout called by the Fury, so we'll stay here with Fort Wayne looking at a four point lead, 64 60. Quad City on a 6 0 run part of the Glenbrook Square three-point play program. The folks at Glenbrook Square make a donation to SCAN every time the Fury call a 20-second timeout this season to support timeouts and other alternative methods of child discipline. Fury ball after the 20. Seven oh seven to go, third quarter. Thunder outscored the Fury, eleven to six. Here in the quarter, Quad City a little man-on-man -man pressure, and now the Fury will get to McKellum. We'll bring it up one-on-one -on -one against Wheeler. Wyman flashing out front and said they give corner to Phillips. Marshall looks in deep, drives on Parker, fades in the lane, twelve footer up and in. Now four for Marshall. And all four coming here in the period. That stops a 6-0 Quad City run. And pushes the Fury lead back 2-6. Wheeler. 
up front to Hill. Quick catch and shoot top of the key. Shot off the mark and Phillips up to get the board. Winners to McCullum. He backs off the throttle into front court. Down to Weidman. Mid left block. Tom works the baseline against Derek Hood. Reverse layup up and in. Weidman going to work. He's got 12. First second half points for Tom. And it's 68-60. So a quick 4-0 run out of the 22nd timeout for Keith Marsh Club. Wheeler all the way to the goal. Tough reverse layup up and in over Weidman. When Wheeler had to put some extra arc on that one, he's got seven. And two straight Quad City buckets. Foul away from the ball, I believe, going to be called against the Fury indeed. Marshall Phillips will pick it up. And before we go further, we're going to have a timeout for Wayne. Six minutes to go, even in the third quarter. Fury lead is six. 68-62, we'll take a break and be back on WONO 1380, the game. Rob Brown back at the Coliseum. Six minutes to go in the third quarter. 68-62, the Fury lead by six. Fans of Price Woodson Vision Group, they've been in the laser corrective surgery business since 1983. Performed the first laser corrective surgery in Indiana. And Scott Spro, Fury Chief Operating Officer who wore glasses or contacts for over 20 years was seen 2015, less than 24 hours after having the procedure done. Folks at Price Wits Vision Group, give them a call at 489-3006. Well, the Fury, from a turnover standpoint, starting the second half like they started the first, growing with seven turnovers in the second quarter, just first quarter, just two in the second. They've got five turnovers here in the third thus far. Thunderball after the Fury offensive foul and turnover. Wheeler. Fading in the lane over McCullum up and in. Wheeler with seven points, six points here in the quarter. And it's a four-point game. 68-64. Carl Thomas and Oma Givens coming on for the Fury during that stoppage. McCullum trying to get free. Jumper from out front is short. Masting up high to get the board for the Thunder. Here they come again. Wheeler running. Cut off in the lane. Backs it out to the left wing. Out front to Hood, right wing Parker. Down low to Baston against Givens. Oma holds his ground, but Baston able to elevate and finish with a flip shot. He's got 21. And it's now a two-point Fury lead. 68-66. McCullum taking his time on the high left. Now gets a pick out top from Givens. Driving to the basket against Wheeler. Lost the handle out of bounds. Now McCullum starting to press maybe a little bit. Keith Smart telling him to slow down. And Hawkins will come on for McCullum. McCullum kept the basketball the last two times down. Missed a shot and then turned it over. So Smart will get him out and replace him with the 6'7", Joaquin Hawkins, who plays the 5'10", Wheeler. Hood. In the block, hands to Wheeler, back to Hood. 19-footer over Givens, off the mark, wide left, and Hawkins has the rebound. Hawk leaves for Hancock. Darren directing the traffic with four and a half minutes to go first half, or second, third quarter. Over to Thomas. CT with 10 to shoot. Played by Wheeler behind the arc. Seven to shoot. Thomas gets a pick. CT kicks in the corner to Hawkins. Right corner jump shot. Up and in. Four points for Hawk. And that gives the Fury a little more breathing room. Pushes the lead back to four. Wheeler dancing behind the pick. Hawk falls down trying to defend it. Wheeler drills the open jump shot. Wheeler taking things into his own hands here in this period. 11 in the ball game, 8 in the quarter. It's 70-68, Hancock in the corner to CT, sets and fires the two. In and out, Hill with a rebound. Here come the Thunder on the run, and they throw it away. Parker fumbled it out of bounds. He was already looking up the floor instead of securing the possession. So Fort Wayne catching a break as the Thunder had a 4 on 2 at the other end. 3.47 left, Fury trying to weather this third quarter storm by the Thunder. Hancock guarded by Hill. Walking his way to the left side. Givens over to set to Darren a pick. Now he gives to Oma, rolling to the basket. Oma cut off. Out to Hancock, he fakes the three. Drives, kicks to Oma, baseline jumper up and in. Oma showing some range there, hitting the 12 footer, baseline left, he's got nine. And it's 72-68, starting to see some of the promise that Keith Smart sees in Givens. And one of the reasons why he's here to help this ball club. After the big man call-ups earlier this week to Bohannon and Kettner. Hood works on Lang. Cut off in the lane, back out to Hill, 20-footer up and in. Rico Hill with six. Team's trading buckets here over the last couple of minutes. Two-point Fury lead inside, three minutes to go, third quarter. 
Hancock setting up the pick and roll, gets a step on Hill to the basket, reverse layup, high off the board and in. Hancock with 15. Here comes Wheeler, picked up by Hancock on the switch. 74-70. Parker fakes on Thomas to his right, fading 20-footer up and in. Tough shot from Anthony Parker, he's got five. What a shot by Anthony Parker. 74-72. 2.20 to go third quarter. Hancock drives, leaves it left wing for Thomas. Down a little lane, played by Hood. Tony kicks to Hawkins, right wing jumper up and in. Uh, Hawks hit two 18 footers here in the period. Six points in the ball game for him, and as the teams trade buckets, Fury back up by four. Each team looking for a stop that they haven't gotten. Inside two minutes to go, third quarter. Both teams with a foul to give. Maston facing up on the baseline against Givens, jumps up the short shot and long. Rebound Caroms to Hawkins. Fury get the stop, can they capitalize and increase their lead? Hancock taking his time, right wing to Hawk. Looking in low for Oma. Now he drives on Parker to the basket. Wrap around. Pass to Lane. He dunks it down with the right hand. Maston trying to draw the charge in front of the circle. Didn't get the whistle. And the Thunder will call a timeout. Tony with five. Both field goals are dunks. We'll take a timeout as well. 129 to go in the third. Fury lead is six on WO and 1380. The game. Rob Brown back at the Coliseum. 129 to go here in the third. Fury lead by six. 78-72 over the Quad City Thunder. Get stopped by the Shoe Carnival Fury Kids Carnival the Coliseum Lobby for your chance to win great prizes. Pick up an animal balloon or find out how you can register for fantastic Shoe Carnival giveaways. Shoe Carnival has always been the leader in combining shoe shopping with family fun. They continue that tradition by bringing you the Shoe Carnival Fury Kids Carnival. Fury shooting 60% here in the period, 9 out of 15. Thunder 47%, 9 out of 19. Quad City has outscored the Fury in the quarter. 23-20. Fort Wayne with six turnovers here in the quarter. Quad City with one. As part of the Russ Moore transmission turnover update. Fury with 15 turnovers in the game. Quad City 12. Russ Moore transmission. The place to turn to to avoid problem turnovers in your car, truck, or van. Thunderball inside. 80 seconds to go. Third quarter. Fury lead is six. In the paint to Baston. Turning shot over Gibbons up and in. 23 for Baston. Good hoop out of the timeout for Quad City. They needed a good trip, and they got one on the eight-footer from Baston. Each team with a foul to give here in the final minute. Hancock, cross-court to Hawkins. Hawk looking in low for Givens. They lob it over the top, and the pass deflected away. Here comes Wheeler. Driving, gives to Hill. One power dribble to the basket. He's fouled in route from Givens, and he'll shoot two. Fourth foul on Oma. First and last two minutes on the Fury, but Hill in the act, so he'll shoot two. 69 percenter on the year is Hill. Left Illinois State after the draft deadline, so he's been out of school a year already, but still considered a rookie by NBA and CBA standards. Played last year in Spain. Missouri Valley Conference Player of the Year as a junior at Illinois State. Hits the first, one more can make it a two-point game. Randall Jackson stepping in for the Fury for the first time here in the half, replacing Givens. Oma checking out with nine points and four fouls. Randell had eight points off the bench in the first half. One more free throw for Rico Hill. 51 and five tenths left, third quarter. Up and in. So four straight Thunder points out of the timeout. They pulled back to within two. 78-76. Hancock, right wing to Thomas. The catch and shoot from 20 feet in and out. And Hill with a rebound. CT got a good look there. He was six for eight Wednesday night. Hood lost the dribble in the lane, able to redirect it to Hill. Three for the lead. He missed it. And the rebound tapped in the lane. And we're going to lose ball foul on the Thunder. Jackson came down with the board. They're going to get Baston with the foul. His third. Thunder had a foul to give, so the Fury will not shoot. 25.9 left in the period. You presume, anyway, the Fury will play for one. Shot clock one second ahead of the game clock. Hancock played by Hill out front. 
Taking his time with a right hand dribble. Ten to shoot. Now nine, now eight. Darren on the wing to CT. Four to shoot. CT twisting. Off the backboard too strong. Loose ball in the lane. Grabbed by Parker. He'll heave one up from half court. Off the backboard no good. And that'll do it. Rob Brown back at the Coliseum. Set to start the fourth quarter. The Fury lead by two. 78-76. Andre McCullough has 16 points lead to Fury. Maceo Bassett, 23 for the Thunder. Quad City has it first. Parker, left side, jump shot up and in. And he ties the ball game with the first bucket of the fourth. Jackson down the baseline. Slithering the hoop, lost it on the way up. And the loose ball tapped in bounds by Hood to Wheeler. Bouncing left wing to Baston. Out to Wheeler, open jumper straight away. Good, and the Thunder had the lead. 13 for Tyson Wheeler. Just like that, Quad City on top. First time they've had the lead since early, very early in the second quarter. Jackson lost it again, able to get it back. Now he finds Hancock down the baseline, left corner CT over to Hawkins. Hawk to Weidman, in the corner Hancock. Fires a long two, missed it on the back iron, but it rebounds out to Jackson. New clock for the Fury, down two. Randell, top of the key. Over on the wing to Hawk. Now Hancock finds Weidman, back cutting Hawkins. He threw it behind him. Wheeler on the steal. And Thomas took it away. They're going to call him for the foul. Second foul on CT. First on the Fury here in the quarter. Quad City has jumped all over the Fury to start this fourth period. Wheeler's first free throws up and in. He's only a 55 percenter. He's got 11 of his 14 here in the second half. McCullum's on for the Fury, replacing Hancock. Wheeler's second one short. Jackson fumbled the rebound, but got it back. Three-point Thunder lead and a 5-0 run to start the quarter. Jackson, top of the key, played by Hood. Drives to the left hand, to the basket, runner off the mark. And the rebound, tap to Wheeler. You're getting absolutely nothing done offensively so far. Hill, right side jumper up and in. 10 for Rico Hill. And it's a five point Thunder lead. 83-78. CT on the right side. Out front to Jackson. And Hood hand checking, caught with the personal, his fourth, team's first. Fury will put it in with 14 to shoot. Down five as the Thunder begun this period with a 7-0 run. McCullum on the high left with 10 to shoot. Off the short inbounds. Gets a pick. All the way to the basket. Leads it for Jackson trailing. Blocked from behind by Baston. Here come the Thunder with Jackson on the deck. Five on four. Wheeler to the goal. Throws it in the corner. Loose ball on the deck. Picked in by CT. Jackson is back by himself. One dribble to the basket. Blocked away from behind by Baston. Wyman missed the shot. And now they're going to call a foul. Good night. Fouls on Rico Hill. That's a heck of a play by Baston to get back and block that dunk attempt by Jackson. Randell, instead of just going to the goal and finishing, he took one power dribble, and that gave Baston enough time to get there and get a hand on it. Third foul on Rico Hill, second on the Thunder. Wyben foul on the putback attempt. So he'll be at the line shooting too. Nice hustle by Tom to get back. It's the first. That snaps a 7-0 Thunder run to begin the period. Makari Hendricks on for Derek Hood. One more free throw for Wyben. Sets, fires, and hits. 14 for Tom, he's got a double-double tonight. 14 points and 11 rebounds. 83-80. Three-point Fury deficit. Nine and a half minutes to go here from the Coliseum. Wheeler looking for Parker off a weave of screens. Gets it to him on the right wing. Bouncing in low to Baston. Played by Weidman. Baston fading away. High archer up and in. Baston's got 25. And the Fury really having no one to slow him down in the paint tonight. McCullum driving all the way. Cut off. Out to Hawkins, back out front to McCullum. Left wing CT down to Wyman, left corner. 12 to shoot. 
time. Working on Makari Hendricks. Lost the handle. Out to McCullum for three. Bang! He got it. McCullum set it in, firing for his first points here in the second half. His third three of the night. $33 donated to benefit the YWCA's Domestic Violence Services from Three Rivers Federal Credit Union. And a foul as Wheeler went by McCullum. Second foul on Dre, second on the Fury. Fury down two after McCullum's three. Shot clock at 15 for the Thunder. Bakari Hendricks, left corner against Jackson. To the middle, big steps to the goal, swooping shot rolls off the rim, and Weidman tracks down the board. McCullum left side to CT. Finds Wybin running the floor. Tom the spot up. Jay rolls off the rim. Hawkins poked the rebound out of bounds from Baston. He'll go with the Thunder. With 8.29 left. Wheeler across the line. Each team going away from their benches in the second half. Thunder heading left to right. Parker left corner against Thomas. Facing up with 12 to shoot. Now he backs him in. Turning to the baseline. CT called for the foul. The bump. That's the third foul on Thomas. Third on the Fury as well. Shot clock at 14 for the Thunder. Hill out front to Parker. To Baston who fakes the handoff. Now facing up on Wyman. Drives the goal. Tom hand checked him. Baston missed the shot, but he'll shoot two. Third foul on Wyman. Fourth on the Fury. Baston has been the man tonight offensively for the Thunder, picking up for Jeff McGinnis, who is expected to sign a 10-day contract with the LA Clippers tomorrow. McGinnis, the second leading scorer in the CBA. Thunder missing his 20 points a game, but Baston has stepped up for 25 tonight, although he misses that first free throw. Came in averaging just under 14. So he's well on his way to doubling up his average. He got the roll on the second free throw, so he splits the pair, and it's a three-point Thunder lead. 86-83 with eight minutes to go. Thunder about scored the Fury 10-5 to start this quarter. McCullum bounces to Weidman. Out front, thought about the jump shot. Instead, give it to Thomas. Now Hawk with it. Six to shoot. Down to Randell. Baston poked it out of bounds. And it's going to go to the Thunder. One of the entry passes in the post tonight for the Fury have been anything but crisp. And that has been the origin point of a lot of their turnovers tonight. Wheeler to his left in no hurry. And they ran uh, Thomas off an illegal screen on the weak side, set by, actually they're called Parker on a push off. That's a fourth foul on Parker. And the turnover will give it right back to Fort Wayne. Randall Jackson stepping out. Hancock's back in for the Fury. 86-83, Fury trail by three. Seven and a half minutes to go. Hancock calls for it and gets it against Rico Hill. Back out front, McCullum, three for the tie. In and out. They fight for the rebound. Hawkins tapped it right to Weidman. Tom in deep, and a shot blocked away by Baston. He has turned everything away at the Fury end tonight defensively. Got him unofficially for five block shots. Wheeler. Trying to find Bass in the post as Hancock plays cat and mouse. Right side, Bakari Hendricks for three. Long in the back rim, Rico Hill grabs the rebound. Fury settling up defensively. Hancock still playing Bass and he calls for it. Darren fighting for it, they're gonna call a double foul. Double foul, third foul on Hancock, fourth foul on Baston. And we have a timeout, Fort Wayne. 6.51 to go. Fury trail by three. We'll take a break and be back on WONO 1380, the game. Well, fans, when was the last time you stopped thinking the people who make our community a better place to live, work, and raise a family? The Fury Physicians Health Plan are doing just that through the People Helping People program. All season long, Physicians Health Plan will be donating tickets to various organizations that help shape the future of our community. Committed to the communities they serve, Physicians Health Plan is once again proving they are more than just an insurance company. They are number one by choice. Fury is shooting just one for nine here to start the period, 11%. Thunder 67%, four out of six. Champion windows clean the glass update. Fury have 42 rebounds and the Thunder 38. 
Quad City ball after the double foul. Hancock's third, Baston's fourth. 15 to shoot. Parker lobs to Baston, who's played by Weidman this time down. Out front to Hendricks, fakes. Left side, Hill will hoist up the three, good. Rico Hill for three, he's got 13. Just the fifth three of the season for Hill. He came in four out of 29. And it's a six point Thunder lead. 89-83, Hawkins lost it in route to the goal. They're gonna call a foul, oh my goodness. I thought they were gonna call a palming on Hawk. That foul's on Baston, his fifth. Team's third, that's a huge call. As Baston has been the go-to guy tonight for the Thunder offense. So instead of a Hawkins turnover, it's the fifth foul on Baston, and he heads to the bench. Oma Gibbons on for the Fury, replacing Weidman, who checks out with 14 points and 13 rebounds. Only nine to shoot now for the Fury. Hill poked the entry pass away. Here comes Weidman, or Wheeler to Hill. He missed the shot. Gibbons has the loose ball. Ahead to McCullum. Two on three, Quad City back defensively, so the Fury will slow it up, down six. Hancock, in low to Hawkins. On the right corner played by Hood. Hawk, the short pull-up shot, up and in. Hawks got eight, six here in the second half. And it's 89-85, 5.45 to go. Remember, inside the five minute mark, you can double team legally. Wheeler stop and go move on McCullum. The scoop shot's an air ball. And the loose ball fought for out front to Hendricks. No reset on the air ball. Here comes Parker twisting back out to Hendricks. Three to beat the shot clock, and he drilled it. That is a huge shot by Bakari Hendricks. Two straight threes for the Thunder. That one with one on the shot clock. That's 92-85. McCullum runs pick and roll with Givens. Oma in low. Fading, shooting, missing. Rebound tapped out of bounds by Parker. It'll stay with the Fury with a new shot clock to work with. 17 left to go. Thomas, right side for three, in and out. And the rebound tapped right to McCullum. He puts it up and in. Gibbons kept it alive. Gray's got 21. 92 87. As we near the five minute mark to go in this ball game with the Fury down five. Wheeler finds Hendricks out front. Missed the shot. Gibbons ran uh, Hood over at the foul line, trying to get through the pick, so they hit Oma for the foul, his fifth, and the team's fifth as well. That will send Antonio Lang back into the ball game, replacing Oma, who checks out with nine points and five fouls. Maceo Bassett on the bench with five. For the Thunder. 4.55 to go, and the Fury trail by five. Quad Cities outscored the Fury 16 to nine here in the quarter, and 43 to 29 here in the second half. Fury lineup of McCullum, Thomas, Hawkins, Hancock, and Lang. Quad City with Wheeler, Parker, Hill, Hendricks, and Hood. We're set to go. Hill inbounding far sideline. And he throws it right to Hancock. Darren gives to Thomas trailing, trying to shovel it to Lang, and the loose ball on the floor. Picked up by CT. He's undercut, gives to Lang, and he's fouled. And he'll shoot two. Boy, bodies all over the deck. Foul goes to Rico Hill. His fourth, the team's fourth. Well, that was not a very effective uh, and fluid way to run a fast break, but it ends with two Fury free throw attempts. And Antonio Lang at the stripe. Tony is one for two tonight. Sets, fires, and misses. Lang just a 69 percenter on the season. He is just 11 for 21 in his last five games. And 18 for 34 in his last 10, shooting 53% in his last 10. Quad City calls a 20-second timeout, so we'll stay here. Well, I'll go ahead and make it a full timeout. So we'll go ahead and take a break as well. 4.47 to go. Fury trail by five. Back with more after this on WONO with 1380, the game. 
Fans catch the star with McLeod USA. For up to the information, community schedules, maps, and restaurant guides, turn to the book with the gold star, McLeod USA. Also call the Fury office at 471-3879 for the McLeod USA Fury Information Line for the most up-to-date information on your Fury. 447 to go in the Fury Trail by five. Antonio Lang will have one more free throw. Points, uh, field goals hard to come by for the Fury here in the quarter. They're shooting just three of 13 for 23%. The Thunder 60%, six out of 10. Fury here from the line in the second half. Four out of five. Lang is one for three tonight. Marshall Phillips coming on for Carl Thomas during that timeout for the Fury. Lang needs his second free throw to make it a four-point game. Waiting for everyone to get set. And Lang with the basketball. Really struggled from the line over the last uh, 10 games or so, but he hits the second one there. He's got six points. And it's a four-point game, 92-88. Phillips will play Wheeler this time down. They've thrown a number of defenders at Wheeler tonight. McCullum, Phillips, Hawkins, Hancock, Marshall hand-checking and fouling. When you're over the foul limit, you cannot afford a hand-check foul out front. And that will put Wheeler at the line with 4.35 left and the Fury down four. Wheeler shooting two. He's just a 55% on the year, hits the first. 15 for Wheeler, 12 in the second half. Phillips checking out, taking that long walk back to the bench. Wheeler short arm the second, and Hawkins grabs the rebound. So the teams each uh, miss one out of two from the line, and the lead back to five for the Thunder. Thomas almost fumbled it away, right side to Hancock. Darren with time, picked up his dribble. Out top to McCullum, Dre to the basket. Put it up and in the foul, count it! And put him on the line. Dre's got 23. Fouls on Rico Hill, his fifth, the team's fifth. So now the Thunder with two players with five fouls. Bassett's on the bench with five. And Hill out there with five. McCullum is 13 for 13 since joining the Fury from the foul line. And we'll see if the Fury set up some pressure if McCullum can make this free throw right here. He needs it to cut it to a two-point game. native of North Carolina, Durham. Knocks it down, he's got 24. And the Thunder can't get the ball inbounded. They call the 22nd timeout, which they still had, so we'll stay here. 93-91 after McCullum's three-point play. We'll stay here with 419 to go. And the Fury down only two. Avalon Water, the official benchside beverage of the Fury. They've teamed up with Scott's to give Fury fans the chance to earn fantastic Fury ticket discounts. The next time you visit Scott's, pick up any Avalon product and simply bring the register tape showing your Avalon purchase to the Coliseum ticket office to receive special discounts courtesy of Avalon and Scott's. And Wholesome, as always, proud to be the official sponsor of the Fury dance team, the Wholesome Girls. Sponsored by Wholesome and Lewis Bakeries. Jamel Thomas coming on for the Thunder. He was at the scorer's table when they called the 20. They get into Wheeler. He's trapped in backcourt. Hancock and McCullum come at him. Now Wheeler gets by McCullum into front court with 18 to shoot. Fury looking for a stop down two. Wheeler to his left, swings over to Parker. Played by Lang on the switch. Hendricks played by Thomas on the switch. Tripped on his way up through the paint. CT's got the basketball. He'll back it up. Fury look for a good shot. Hancock against Parker inside four minutes to go. Darren brings it back out. Now he attacks with the right hand. Swooping shot up and in and out. Tapped up no good by Lang. Rebound tapped to Hancock. CT thought about the three, but he fumbled it. Now they'll try it again. New shot clock. Cross court to Hawkins with 17 to shoot. Back to CT. Hancock wants it. CT will drive to the goal instead. He's fouled. Missed the shot, but he'll shoot two with 3.28 left. And that's the fifth foul on Derek Hood. 
So Dan Panaggio bought some time for Maceo Bassett, who picked up that fifth foul very early here in the period. Mass has been his guy offensively tonight with 26 points. Carl Thomas shooting two for the Fury. He needs them both to tie the ball game. First one up and in. Maston on for Hendricks. So the Thunder have Hood and Baston both out there with five fouls. Rico Hill's on the bench with five. CT trying to tie it up with the second free throw. Sets, fires, and hits. 93 all. 3.28 to go. Crowd chanting for some defense. Fury looking for the stop. Both teams over the foul limit. As we head down the stretch, Hood, pass to Fleckets, briefly stolen by Hancock, ball to the floor, Darren finds CT behind the pack, he'll soar and dunk it down with a two-hand slam. Hancock started it with a defense, two-point Fury lead, timeout, Thunder. 95-93, this Coliseum crowd on their feet, we'll take a pause and be back on WONO with 1380, the game. Rob Brown back at the Coliseum. Fans stop by the Bob Evans locations at the DuPont Road, Village of Coventry, the new remodeled Coliseum Boulevard, Bob Evans, to find out about Fury Family Fridays. While well, you enjoy home cooked selections from Bob Evans' world famous menu, you also find out about special Fury discounts and giveaways for all Friday night games. First 1,000 fans through the doors each Friday receive a Fury collector's pennant. Collect all seven for special Fury prizes, and we'll see you all season long on Bob Evans' Fury Family Fridays. And Darren Hancock steal, creating a breakaway dunk for Carl Thomas. Fury have taken a two-point lead. Fort Wayne in a 10-1 run. Trail by seven. Before the run started. 3.06 to go. Crowd on their feet looking for some more defense. Watsi trying to get it in. Thomas almost a five second count, but able to find Hood. And now Thomas leaves for Wheeler. Inside three minutes to go, Fury up two. Both teams over the foul limit. They run the wing players off some screens, couldn't find the opening. And now we've got a holding foul on the block on Lang. That's his third, that'll put Bassett at the line with both teams over the limit and 2.53 left. Bassett is eight for 10 tonight. Keith Smart sending Gibbons and Whiteman to the scorer's table. Baston, first one up, way short. Thomas and Hawkins come off. One more for Baston, Fury up two. trying to distract, second one up and in. And now we've got a timeout. Fort Wayne, is it a full? Full timeout it is, we'll go ahead and take a break. 2.53 left, Fury lead is one. Back with more after this on WONO with 1380, the game. Fans in the off season, the Fury practice their shots at Deer Track Golf Course. Deer Track, the official golf course of the Fury. And Deer Track members can take part in special Fury offers, events, and programs designed to keep the summer months furious. Also stop by the Deer Track practice screen at every Fury home game when you can take the Fury putting challenge to win tickets and rounds of golf. That's Deer Track, the official golf course of the Fury. Fort Wayne clinging to a one-point lead, 95-94. Trying to win back-to-back -back games for the first time since late January. They won the final game in January and then won uh, on the road in Grand Rapids. That capped a three-game winning streak, actually. Since that game, the Fury have gone just one and nine. Snapping a nine-game losing streak. Wednesday night here against Grand Rapids. Quad City coming in. On the other hand, with a five-game winning streak, winners of four straight on the road. Thomas and Hawkins are back in for Weidman and Gibbons. Thunder pressing full court. And Lang hands to McCullum. 2.50 to go, Fury up one. Every trip crucial from here on out. 
Dre to his right, driving on Wheeler to the basket. High Archer off the board and in. He flipped it up over Baston. Baston, who's got six shot blocks tonight, but he could not get that one. Three-point Fury lead. Dre's got 26. 97-94. Wheeler off the picks at the foul line. Swings over to Thomas. Almost stolen by Hancock. Thomas pulling shot. Rolls off the rim. Rebound knocked to the floor. Hancock's got it. And Keith Smart tells McCullum to take his time. Calling the play as McCullum walks across the timeline. 2-10 to go. Fury up three. This would be a big trip and would make it a two-possession lead. They go to Hancock. Mid-right block. Spin down the baseline against Parker. Cut off. Out to Dre. Over to CT. Through the paint. Lost it. Here comes Wheeler inside, two minutes to go. Weaving, finds Hood, fumbled it, but got it back out to Wheeler. Three for the tie, wide right. Rebound tapped loose, Lang's got it. Wheeler had a decent look at the three. But he couldn't get it to go. 90 seconds to go, Fury up three. Again, a big trip if you can get a two possession lead here in the final 90 seconds. McCullum, right side backing on Wheeler. To the paint, twisting, shooting, missing. Tapped up, missed by Lang. Hood's got the rebound. Here come the Thunder, two on three. Thomas up the wing, fouled by CT, and he scores. Oh my. What a play by Jamel Thomas. Fourth foul on Carl Thomas. And Jamel Thomas a chance to tie this ball game with 1.20 to go. Big swing right there as Lang had a chance at a tip dunk, missed it. The Thunder come to the other end. And Thomas with a chance to tie the game. Five for six tonight from the line is Thomas. Free throw up and off the mark. Hancock has the rebound. And now Hancock fouled by Baston. That's six fouls on Baston. Oh, that's a big miss by Jamel Thomas as he could have tied the game with that free throw. It danced off the rim. Hancock grabbed the rebound and was fouled by Baston. So now Darren will shoot two with 118 left. And the Fury clean to a one-point advantage. That was a heck of a play by Jamel Thomas to get that basket in as he was bumped by CT going out of bounds with his momentum. But he could not convert on the free throw to tie the game. Baston out with six fouls. Thunder will have to protect him defensively. Hendricks back in for him. Darren shooting two big ones. He's five for five tonight. First one's up and in. One more for Hancock. get a three-point lead, and he rimmed it out. But the rebound tapped to Hawkins. Can he save it? Save to Thomas. He dove and saved the Hancock. What a play by Hawkins Thomas. McCullum to the basket. He put it up and in. What a save by T Hawkins, and then a great save by CT that kept it alive and made it a three-point possession. Oh, baby. Timeout Quad City will keep it here. We burned the brakes for this fourth quarter, so we'll stay here for the duration. 196 our score, Fury up four with 109 to go. What a possession right there for the Fury. Hancock hitting the first free throw, missed the second. The rebound was heading out of bounds off of Hawkins, but he saved it. And was his save was going out of bounds at the scorer's table. CT dove and saved it back behind him to Hancock, who found McCullum streaking the left wing to lay it in. And the three-point possession, albeit unconventional, makes it a 196 Fury lead with 109 to go. What a play by a host of players there, but Hawkins and Thomas with the hustle started it and gave Hancock and McCullum a chance to finish it. Now be sure to stay tuned immediately following the ball game for the Physicians Health Plan post-game show. We'll have thoughts and comments on tonight's game as well as a look ahead to game one of our two-game road trip. Sunday night in Connecticut. Well, in all Fury home games this season, when the Fury enter the fourth quarter trailing in the game and come from behind down the stretch to win, Fury fans win at Churchill Downs Sports Spectrum. 
take your Fury ticket stub from that night's game at Churchill Downs Sports Spectrum and receive a free mystery voucher good for bets anywhere from $2 all the way up to $100 courtesy of Churchill Downs Sports Spectrum. Churchill Downs Sports Spectrum is open Wednesday through Sunday and located one half mile north of exit 111B on I-69 at Cross Creek Center. For racing schedules or general information, call 219-490-9006. One oh nine to go. Thunder have one timeout remaining. No twenties. Fury have two timeouts remaining. And both teams are over the foul limit. Quad City will take it at half court. Interestingly enough, Wheeler is not in the ball game. It's Thomas, Sims, Parker, Hood, and Hendricks. Gary will back guard the inbounder. Hancock got in the passing lane, deflected out of bounds, almost a steal. And he'll stay with the Thunder. Fury five of McCullum, Hawkins, Hancock, Lang, and Thomas. Crowd chanting for defense. Thomas looking. Gets it into Hendricks. And his lob in the paint stolen by Hancock. Darren was waiting. He took it right away from Hood. Here comes McCullum. Bounces to CT. Fury will play a little keep away. McCullum held and fouled out front by Thomas with 56.7. Left on the clock. Well, this is third game with the Fury, McCullum. And Dre has yet to miss from the foul line. He is 5 for 5 tonight, 14 out of 14 on the year. And two biggies right here with 56 and 7 tenths left. Sets, fires, and hits. McCullum's got 29. Looking for an even 30. That would make him just the, sec the third player to do it this year for the Fury. Norris did it three times, and Hancock once. McCullum, second one up and in. He's got an even 30. Seven for seven from the line is Dre. 102-96. Thunder now have to hurry. Parker in the paint to Hood, out front Thomas for three, rimmed it out, rebound tapped out front right to Thomas, he'll try another three, that one's no good, and they sky for the rebound, they're going to get the Thunder for a foul in the paint, no, it's going to be the Fury, it's going to be the Fury who pick up the foul, it'll be Thomas, and Carl's fifth, well 42.1 left, that'll put the Thunder at the foul line, that call Kurt uh, Walker had the whistle correct. He just pointed the wrong way, and the crowd thought initially the foul was going to be against the Thunder, but the Thunder had the inside position sealed on all sides of the rim on that second Thomas miss. Parker, free throw up and in. Parker is 69 percent on the year. One more free throw for him. Sets, fires, and hits again. Thunder pressing. CT in the corner, trapped on the sideline, almost stepped out of bounds, over to Hancock, Darren in the front court to Hawkins, Hawks soaring, lost it on the way up, able to redirect and put it in. Athletic play by Hawk, he's got 10. Thomas quickly to the other end, leaning on Hancock and scoring. 11 for Thomas, and the Fury inbound to McCullum, he's fouled quickly by Thomas with 27 seconds to go. Three fouls on Jamel Thomas. We'll walk to the other end, and McCullum will shoot two. With the Fury leading 104 to 100. 27 seconds even to go. McCullum's got 30 points in the night. Sets, fires, and hits. Dre, eight for eight in the line, 31 points. Oma's back in and CT checking out. Well, now you look at the Fury season high. That was Moochie Norris with 33. McCullum's got 31 now. Okay, just his third game with the ball club. And he got the roll over the front rim. He's still perfect in the line. 32 points for McCullum. Here come the Thunder, 106-100. Parker, the three, tough one over McCullum, and he drilled it. Fury not out of the woods yet, it's only a three-point game. Into Hawkins, and he's fouled with 20 seconds left. 
And for Keith Smart, his ball club, this clock cannot move quick enough. Anthony Parker drilling a tough three with McCullum up in his face and falling away. So now the Fury lead has been chiseled to three and still a lot of time left, 20 seconds to go. Hawk shooting two big free throws right here and if you're the Thunder from a percentage standpoint, you have to think it's a pretty good play. Hawkins only a 58 percenter. He'll have to prove him wrong with two right here. First one up, no good, way short. Need the second though, still to make it a two possession lead, as now the Thunder can tie with a three. One more for Hawkins, that one up and in. That's a big one right there. He's got 11. Thunder have to hurry. Parker, all the way to the basket, put it up, no good, but he drew the foul. And he'll shoot two. Fouls on Oma Givens, his sixth. The Thunder are not going quietly. What you'd expect from the top team in the CBA. Parker shooting two with 13.8 seconds to go. Got seven of his 12 in the quarter, make it 13 points here in the ball game. Carl Thomas back in for Givens. One more from Parker can make it a two point game. It's still just a lot of time left, 13.8. Here we do have two timeouts remaining. Parker sets and hits. 14 for him, 107-105. And now Keith Smart will call timeout. Two point Fury lead, 107-105 with 13.8 to go. We will stay right here with a two point Fury lead and 13.8 seconds left. Fort Wayne with one timeout now, the Thunder also with one. Both teams long since over the foul limit. Quad City staying in this game though, behind a big three from Anthony Parker. And then two free throws, bringing them within two at 107 to 105. Well again, be sure to stay tuned immediately following the ball game for the Physicians Health Plan post game show. We'll have thoughts and comments on tonight's game as well as a look at Sunday's game in Connecticut, the first of two straight on the road. We'll also be on the road Tuesday night in Grand Rapids. Fury shooting just 38% here in the period. Eight of 21, the Thunder 50%, nine out of 18. Fort Wayne 12 of 15 from the foul line here in the quarter. Quad City eight out of 13. So uh, if you're the Thunder, you look at those five foul line misses here in the quarter and they only trail by two, what might uh, have been, if some of those misses had converted, we'd be looking at a much, uh, it's already a pretty tense situation for the Fury up two and a lot of time left. Would be even more tenuous and the Thunder knocked down a couple more of those free throws. Both teams have a delay of game left too. That sometimes comes into play late in a ball game when you try and uh, jump in bound, out of bounds to see a team's play that they've set up. See if the Fury will take it at half court or at full court. They'll take it in back court. Thomas, McCullum, Hancock, Lang, and Hawkins. Sims, Parker, Thomas, Hendricks, and Hood, the Thunder Five. McCullum is nine for nine for the foul line. You have to think to try and get him the basketball. They get it to Hancock instead, and Darren will race in the front court. They're not fouling him. Now he finds Lang underneath, shovels to Thomas. He lays it up and in. I have no idea why the Thunder never fouled there. Hancock ran right by him, but they never fouled. Or a foul was not called, I'm not sure. Either way, the Fury burned not only six seconds off the clock, but they got a basket, and an easy one at that. The Thunder arguing that they uh, committed a foul or tried their best effort to stop the clock, but none was called. Well, rarely will you see a team and a coach arguing that a foul should have been called against his own club, but the Thunder desperately needed a foul to stop the clock, and Hancock dribbled uh, within arm's length of two defenders in the backcourt before he turned on the Jets in the front court and got ahead of the CT for the easy one. So back to a four-point Fury advantage, seven seconds to go. 109-105, and if you're the Fury, you can breathe a little easier, but only slightly, as it would take a three-pointer and a foul to tie the game in a single possession 
for the Thunder. This is the final meeting of the season between these two clubs. Win or lose, the Thunder are going to come away with the season series victory. Entering tonight's game, the Fury had won just one time out of four against Quad City this year, and that was Christmas night on the road in Quad City. We'll see what Keith Smart and his club can draw up here in the uh, huddle defensively. Thunder, uh, another thing going against them. In pro basketball, you can advance the ball to half court with a timeout, but the Thunder do not have any timeouts remaining. So in all situations, they would have to go the length of the court after Fury scores or if made free throws. And cannot stop the clock here in the final seven seconds except to foul. You presume they will take it at half court here, and they will across the way from us. Thunder, 6 of 19 from three-point range tonight. The Fury, 4 out of 8. Sims has 1-3. Wheeler, 1. Parker has 2, including 1 here in the quarter. Makari Hendricks, 1. Enrico Hill, 1. Fury will put the 6'10 Weidman guarding the 5'11 Wheeler, who's the inbounder. Weidman trying to distract and give Wheeler a bad angle. In the Thomas, fakes, jumps up the three over CT. Missed it short, rebound falls to Hancock. Darren ahead to Lang, he'll throw it in backcourt. And the buzzer sounds, that'll do it. Fury won their, win their second straight. They snapped the Thunder's five game winning streak. 109-105, our final. Post game show up next on WO 1380 the game. Rob Brown back at the Coliseum and the Fury taking on the top team in the CBA tonight, the Quad City Thunder. They come out victorious. Our final 109-105. Fury to come back in the fourth quarter to do it. Let's talk about the ball game. Back and forth first quarter that saw the Thunder lead by as much as nine and lead by two at the end of one, 25 to 23. Fury went on a 10-0 run early in the second quarter to open up as much as a seven point lead, they expanded to nine at the end of the second quarter on a 6-0 run to close out the half. 58-49, the Fury led at the half, outscoring the Thunder 35-24. In the second period, that 35 point second quarter marked the most productive offensive quarter for the Fury this season, and only the third time this month that they led a game at halftime. Third quarter, Fury uh, hung on to the lead, although the Thunder closed within two on numerous occasions, and the Fury led by only two at the end of three, 78-76. Thunder outscoring the Fury 27-20 in the third. Quad City on a 7-0 run to begin the fourth quarter, grabbed the lead, and led by as much as seven after Bakari Hendricks' three with one second on the shot clock made it a 92-85 Thunder lead with five and a half minutes to go. Fury went on a 10-1 run to grab the lead back for good on a Carl Thomas breakaway dunk. Put the Fury up 95-93 with 3.06 to go, but the Fury would not be out of the woods as Fort Wayne uh, hanging tough, but the Thunder coming back. Pulled within one, Jamel Thomas on a breakaway, scored a basket, was fouled by Carl Thomas, but uh, Th Jamel Thomas missed the ensuing free throw that would have tied the game, and the Fury maintained a one-point lead. And then perhaps the key hustle play in the ball game that helped the Fury uh, pull away, or actually I shouldn't say pull away, but hold on, Darren Hancock fouled with 118 to go, hit the first one, missed the second one as the rebound was carrying out of bounds. Joaquin Hawkins saved it, but it looked like his save attempt was going to go out of bounds at half court near the scorer's table. Carl Thomas then dove and saved it a second time to Darren Hancock, who found McCullum streaking the left wing to lay it in. A three-point possession gave the Fury a four-point lead. The Thunder would come close after Anthony Parker hit a three to make it a three-point game, and then two Parker free throws brought the, the Thunder within two, but then Carl Thomas, a breakaway hoop after the Fury broke some initial backcourt pressure helped the Fury pull away and score the game's final two points. Again, 109-105, our final Fury outscoring the Thunder, 31-29 in the fourth to win by four. Andre McCullum, in just his third game with the ball club, scored 32 points in 32 minutes. McCullum scoring the third highest, actually the second highest, single game output for the Fury this year, topped only by Moochie Norris's 33 points at Quad City on Christmas night and matching Mooch's 32 in lacrosse on January 15th. Maceo Baston had 27 points to pace the Thunder. Big win for the Fury tonight. we got a lot to talk about here on the Physicians Health Plan postgame show, so we'll step aside and come back with a look at our postgame award winners after this on WONO 1380, the game. 
Rob Brown back at the Coliseum. The Fury win their second straight, defeating the Quad City Thunder tonight, 109-105 here at the Coliseum. Look at our post-game award winners first tonight's Napa Auto Parts Endurance Award winner. That will go to Darren Hancock, who played a game-high 45 minutes. Darren got a lot of good looks in the paint early, but could not get the rolls. But he stayed with it and ended up with 16 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists, and 5 steals. A great all-around game for Hancock in his 45 minutes. He came back strong in the second half. He was just 3 of 11 in the first half, just 2 of 5 in the second half, but a steady influence on the floor throughout the ball game. And Darren Hancock with a great effort tonight. Tonight's Napa Auto Parts Endurance Award winner. Remember, for quality auto parts, the Fury turned to Napa Auto Parts to keep America and the Fury running. We're going to give uh, a co-award winner tonight on our defensive player of the game. Hancock will share it. He had five of the Fury's nine steals tonight, but also getting the award was Tom Weidman, who had four block shots. Two nights in a row, two games in a row, I should say. Weidman establishing new season highs for block shots. He had three on Wednesday night and four tonight. But Tom Weidman and Darren Hancock, co-winners of tonight's Arrow Fence Defensive Player of the Game Award. Look forward after every Fury game this season. If you're looking to keep out the competition or spruce up your home court, call Fort Wayne's oldest name in fencing, Arrow Fence, at 482-3425. We'll go ahead and take another break. When we come back, we'll look at the final numbers on tonight's 109-105 Fury win after this on WONO at 1380, the game. Rob Brown back at the Coliseum on the Physicians Health Plan post-game show. Fury win tonight, 105, 109 to 105 over the Quad City Thunder. We look at the final numbers. Andre McCullum leading all scorers in his third game with the Fury. Had 32 points in 36 minutes straight. 10 of 15 from the floor, 9 of 9 from the foul line, and 3 of 4 from three-point territory. 16 points for Darren Hancock, who struggled shooting tonight, just 5 out of 16. Tom White with a solid effort tonight at the center spot. 14 points on 5 of 9 shooting. 11 points for Joaquin Hawkins off the bench. Hawk was 5 out of 6 from the floor. 9 points for CT, Carl Thomas. 8 points for Randall Jackson, who with a uh, sore shoulder did not play much in the second half. 9 points also for Tyson Wheeler. 14 points for Anthony Parker off the bench. 13 points for Rico Hill off the bench. 12 for Alvin Sims. Jamel Thomas had 11 points, and he was 3 of 17 from the floor. 3 of 17, Jamel Thomas, who came in averaging 19 points a game. He came away with 11, but was just 3 of 17 from the floor. 9 points for Bakari Hendricks, and 4 points for Derek Hood, and around out the Quad City scores. Fury shot 51% tonight, 40 of 79. First time since February 1st. That goes back 11 games. The Fury played 12 games this month. That was their first game of the month. So you go back 11 games, find the last time the Fury shot 50% from the floor. They shot 51 tonight, 40 of 79. The Thunder 45%, 36 of 80. Fury 4 of 8 from behind the arc for 50%. McCullum was 3 out of 4, and Thomas 1 for 3. Thunder 6 out of 20. Parker connecting twice. Sims, Wheeler, Hendricks, and Hill each hitting once. Fury shot 78% from the foul line, 30, 25 of 32. They shot 82% in the second half, 14 of 17. Thunder shot 75% from the line, 25 of 36. Fury plus 15 on the boards tonight, 49 to 34. Tom Wyman, his third double-double of the season, 14 points and 13 rebounds for Wyman. Darren Hancock, also a double-double. He had 16 points and 10 boards. And we talked about Oma Gibbons also. He had nine points and five rebounds to go with three block shots in his 16 minutes. So a nice uh, effort for Oma in his second game with the team. Thunder led on the boards by Jamel Thomas and Rico Hill with seven apiece. Thomas had five of his seven on the offensive end. 18 assists for the Fury, six from Hancock. 23 assists from the Thunder, 6 from Tyson Wheeler. Fury had 20 turnovers, the Thunder 17. 10 block shots for the Fury, Wyvin with 4 and Gibbons with 3. Thunder had 8 block shots. Baston, the second leading shot blocker in the CBA, had 6. Fury had 9 steals, 5 coming from Hancock. And the Thunder with 10 steals, 4 coming from Tyson Wheeler. Points in the paint, 54-34 in favor of the Fury. Points off steals, 15-13 in favor of the Fury. And points off rebounds, 20-13 in favor of the Fury. In front of the largest crowd of the year, 57-64 here at the Coliseum on a church night. Fury winning 109-105 with the Quad City Thunder. Back to wrap it up after this on WONO with 1380, the game. Rob Brown back at the Coliseum on the Physicians Health Plan postgame show. Back to wrap it up. Fury winning tonight. Big win for the club, 109-105 over the CBA's hottest team, the Quad City Thunder. Fury improved their mark to 18-25 and on the year. Now have won two straight since seeing their nine-game losing streak go by the boards on Wednesday night. Fort Wayne 18-25, 14-8 here at home. 
They'll go for the third straight win Sunday night in Connecticut. Quad City falls to 27-15, and 15, still in first place in the National Conference and the CBA, pending the outcome of Yakima at Connecticut tonight. Thunder fall to 11-10 and 10 away from home. See their five-game winning streak snapped, their four-game winning streak on the road as well snapped tonight. Up next for the Fury Sunday night in Connecticut. 6.05 start. We'll have the ball game again at 5.40 with our pregame show, and the Fury will try and win in Connecticut, not only for the first time this year, but for the first time since 97-98. The Fury have lost nine straight at the Armory. They've come close a couple of times, an overtime loss in mid-December comes to mind right away. But uh, the final chance for the Fury to win in the Army here at 99-2000, and again, we'll have the ball game on Sunday night, beginning with 5.40 with the pregame show tip at 7.05. That'll be the or 605, rather. That'll be the first of two straight on the road. We'll wrap up the road trip Tuesday night in Grand Rapids before we return home to take on Rockford Wednesday night here at the Coliseum. I want to thank everyone for listening to tonight's uh, exciting game here at the Coliseum. I also thank Nick Pantazzi for tuning for uh, running things smoothly as usual back at the station. That'll about do it here at the Coliseum, where our final Fort Wayne 109, Watt City 105. Until we talk to you Sunday night from Hartford, Connecticut, and the Armory. This has been Rob Brown saying so long, everybody.